I felt like I was at work making my deliveries. <laughs> I am not being racist or prejudiced in any way, but if you know what I do for a living, you know I deal with a lot of slurpy people. I, I was uh, in a Moon Knight mood. That, that's music from Moon Knight. So. I, on the other and hand. And it's songs I hear in, in 68% of my stops. So thank you, Chris, for not for reminding me that work is about to start on Monday. Thank you, sir. And it's only Sunday night. Appreciate it. Do what I can. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Saturday night. I was doing the dance and everything in the background. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. uh, Moon Knight mood, not Moon Knight nude. Moon Knight nude? Oh, we're getting nude? No, uh, I am usually, no, no we're not. No, I we're not. Usually, I am usually nude at the moonlight. <laughs> and let me see. Uh, no, cl no clouds. The moon might. Tracy's mean, having uh, Tracy's having uh, camera issues. Sorry. Uh, oh, phew. Okay. <laughs> Just like that, I have moved to the fourth position. <laughs> <laughs> Tina was the last one here, and she's in the top spot. Hello, you everybody. <laughs> Good for completing. And now the stream is mine. So now, now you've completed the 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 work the, the walk around the, the block. Yes. What are you talking about? Naked walking around the block. No, we, I mean we have oh, some oh, of those to be naked. We have some of those up here too. Welcome in, everybody. Yes. Good start. Good start. Um, is that this is why I don't make a topic because we don't need one. It just wow. goes. None. Uh, oh, and there goes the pile driver. Are you watching wrestling? I am, actually. <laughs> oh, thank you, Suzanne. Um, welcome in, everybody. Uh, I'm going to welcome in the chat. Why is Chris next? Why is Chris thanking you? What'd you do already? She, she said. She said I'm looking good. You are looking good, man. You're looking sharp. You stood up for me. He, Chris stood up for me. And I got very stunning. Good. I stood He's up and put something in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking stunning. That's what was, we should say. Just stunning. It really wasn't stunning. stunning. Um, this is another shirt that I haven't worn in like nine years. So, yeah. Have you ever noticed that no matter how old your clothes are, you keep them around? Because, you know, there's always a possibility of getting back into them. Well, I mean, it's 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 a green and white chick shirt. I figured it wouldn't go out of style too. So, so uh, a green and white chick shirt. Check, checked. Oh, I nobody understand me tonight. Am I doing yeah. picking up? <laughs> well, I understood. Okay. Um, wait till you, wait till that first that first stream. You're gonna do topless. Yeah. You're gonna be so rugged. I can't wait to stream one from the hot tub at like. Thank you. Century. That's what I was about to say. Chris, oh, they don't have one there, so you come stay with me. In December, you and I, hot tub, shirtless picture. Oh, Saturday night. Man. Yep. Yes. Saturday night. Yep. Sounds like a sounds like a plan. And we know Baker likes copying me, so he'll be doing the same thing. So all three of us mm -hmm. will get you know. Live from the hot tub. Live from the hot tub. It's Saturday night. Weekend update. Oh. Yes, we'll, we'll put we'll put the microphone on like a little float. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll put the whole stream on a float. Chris, you're giving me a hell of an idea for streams for next week, man. I'm telling you're you, you're welcome. Yeah, what are you leaving, you. Carlos? The morning brew live from the hot tub. Nobody Ooh, that'd be nice. What'd you say, babe? Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> They've seen it on stream. I'm They've already stream. seen I, it. I've been shirtless here. They've seen I'm, it on you. Yeah. And the phone has again. been out. Pete's got the master copy. Mm -hmm. Tina Wednesday. I'm sorry, Thursday, Tina. I know you asked the question. I'm you know, a little behind. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm not live. Let me, like, let me, let me, let me make sure. Schedule. Well, I can tell you one thing. If I'm in a hot tub, there's not going to be a little behind. Oh, Trace. come on, Snicker, dude. I 
Tracy, I've seen you, buddy. You what? are very small, so it would be a little behind. Chris, should we welcome in the chat? Yeah, we need to welcome in the chat. <laughs> do you okay. do you know Thanks. that Tina's trying to get us under control? Well, it's welcome just... in. I am. Welcome in, Nicole, Happy Taunts, Kenneth H, uh, Annie Coog, Tigger Jeff, Sean W. Good to see you all. Jan S, welcome. Uh, Jennifer Caruso is here. Howdy, howdy. Uh, dear Debbie Bernfeld, welcome. Uh, Chris, and it, it jumped all the way to the bottom. I had it I had it there, and it just went all the way. I got to go back that's up. That's what she and, said. She and had it there, it, and you had to go all the way down to the bottom. Yes, I and did. it messed me up. Now, now I got to go up on the other one. <laughs> And that's what she that's, said too. That's what she said too. Yeah. Now you got to go up. And, now, it, it just keeps going. All right. <laughs> that's what that she said. Too. Keep going, Chris. I think I finally made it. Um, <laughs> that's what. She that's said. what he said. <laughs> um. Okay. Here we go. Hang on. Uh, welcome in, dear Debbie Bernfeld. Um, Christine Hickman's here. Uh, Kenneth H, uh, Birdwell2427, Sandy, hello, Debbie Thuner, welcome, good to see you, uh, keep scrolling, Stacy Rogers, Jason Thibodeau, welcome, Julie McCowan, hello, hello, um, uh, Mario Memphis is here, Murph, what's up, good evening, sir, uh, keep scrolling, Samantha Lowe, hello, Sam, uh, Chris S, welcome in, uh, Theo Sam Eagle, good to see you. Uh, thanks for joining in the waving, Tracy. Uh, <laughs> Movie Mania Nick's here. What's up, Nick? Howdy. What's up, Bird, Birdwell2427, Sandy. Hello. Uh, Jeannie52573, welcome. K. Wilby, hello. Uh, Tracy's here in there. And K. Wilby and, and, and uh, Tracy and Sean Rogers. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, brother. And. Uh, Tracy and Nicole and Murph and Spaceship Ears, welcome in. Jeff Condon, hello, good to see you. Uh, is Angela, th there she is, the lovely, the beautiful, the ever so talented. The uh, Daisy Duck to my Donald Duck. Hang on, I got. Right, I'm not waving ones. through all of this. No, you all can y'all can take a break for this one. I got new ones. I got to pull up my list. The Suzanne to your Carlos, the Billy to your Tracy. No, no, no. Oh my God, the Tina, you're so dull, I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus. There's something wrong um, with you, Tina. Seriously, seriously wrong with you. We already knew the, that. The, uh, the, the uh, Anna Scott to my William Thacker, the Giselle to my Robert. I'm sorry, can you repeat that first one again? Uh, the uh, Anna Scott to my William Thacker. It, it's Notting Hill. William Pecker? William oh, that Thacker. Was a good movie. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's why I was hearing that. The Peggy to my Hank. The Pepper Pots to my Tony Stark. Hello, sweetheart. Good to see you, Angela. Um, let's see. Does Noah's here? Welcome in, Noah. Uh, I gotta scroll on down. Tina's here in, in here, and Marguerite Nagy's here. Welcome in, Marguerite. And Suzanne. Hello, dear Suzanne. And she's huffing and puffing a lot over here. Yeah. Couldn't Nick Ambrosio, welcome in. Because uh, she has a cold, nothing I'm saying. Yeah. Dreamer Deborah, what's up? Good to see you, Deborah. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I got Sean. I got Marguerite. I got Spaceship Ears, welcome. I think I said it already, but I'll say it again. Uh, uh, Crafty Disney Mom, Samantha, hello. Good to see you. Uh, I think we're almost there. Uh, That's what he said. KK, welcome in. Uh, let me let me zip down to the other list. Uh, Tigger, Katie Y, welcome. Katie Y, good to see you. And Space Mountain, Dave Kentrail. What's up, Dave? Good to see you, bud. And I think we got everybody. There we and go. And that's what she said. Welcome, welcome. How was everybody Kenneth Saturday? Thanks. Kenneth put in a nice little disclaimer about the immaturity of two individuals on the stream. I cannot yep. believe Kenneth would talk about the immaturity of Chris and Tina at a time when it's time to be mature in adults. I'm sorry. I'm watching WrestleMania like I'm five years old again. 
Hey, I got some mail today. Where's my straw? Um, I might pull somebody's move on Suzanne. Like, I'm elbow. There you go. Off the top rope. Pile off driver. The, off the pile. <laughs> See, I'm trying to be funny, and you say, you know, yeah, you're gonna pile drive. That's what he yeah. said. Thanks, Chris. You know, <laughs> he is no help sometimes. <laughs> I expected uh, that one from Jeff Smith. Condon. I, I, I thought this was a topiary discussion. He was ready to discuss trimming of the bush. Considering the fact that I am the only female here, I uh, Jeff Condon wants to. I'm sure. Are you reading at least the chat? I don't know if you're listening. To that. Yeah, yeah, welcome in. Jeff Condon wants to discuss trimming of the bush. Because we're going to talk about topiaries. I need to open the um, Well, the topiaries do need trimming every once in a while. Up, up, up. I think we just got, lost Tina. We did. I got mail today. And what um, did you get today? Yeah, I, I, I got a, um, um, uh, some mail from Nicole, Happy's Haunt. Nice. Really? Yep. Uh, because hippos are a thing here. Oh, okay. She sent me a little plush hippo. Aww. Named Hank. Or Huck. Well, hello, Huck. Hank the Hippo. Huck. What is it? We we used to Huck. have a Hank the, Hank the Angry uh, Dwarf, uh, but never a Hank the Hippo. Huck. Huck. H-U-C-K, Huck. Oh, Huck. I oh, it's Hank. Huck. Huck. Huck the Hippo? Huck the Hippo. He's very soft I'm for a hippo. Hungry. I wonder if anybody in the chat picked that up when I said Hank the Angry, angry Dwarf. Did anybody know where that was from? Think the angry dwarf. Yes. Um, I'm out. He was I think on I the, know where that's from. He was uh, he was on the Howard he was on the Howard Stern show. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I never liked Howard Stern. But he's local. He was born and raised here, where we live. He's actually Paul's. Brother, <laughs> he's an angry elf. <laughs> Massive. And there's the hippo. Spaceship appears with four dollar uh, hippo yelling, and there K K will be with the nine ninety nine hippo in the chair. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. You don't have to do that, but thank you. And T Marie's place with the five dollar floating. <laughs> hippo. I love the floating hippos. <laughs> So Does it show? It doesn't show the hippos. It just says super sticker. That's sad. I wish it would show it on the the. Yeah. So, thank y'all for the hippos. Um. So yeah. What are you watching? WrestleMania. Who? You. Yeah. How old are you? Well, I I got it back and forth with the uh, the final four. Mm. Um. I remember WrestleMania 1 40 years ago. Jason Thibodeau, thank you for the yeah, I was PG hippo. Well, nine. Thank you, sir. Um, so, we got WrestleMania going. We got <laughs> Final Four. NC State lost. I got coffee. That's a shame. Yep. Uh, at least with at least with this WrestleMania, I'm not paying fifty five dollars on pay per view. Are you watching on Peacock? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, Jeff Condon with the floating hippos. Thank you. And Debbie Burnfell with the five dollar running hippo. Thank you, Debbie. Um. So, WrestleMania one, Hogan Piper, I think, right? Yeah. Or was it Piper T? No, that was two. No, was that it, was the, the, was... the tag team. Hogan and Mr. T against Piper and Orndorff was two. But if, I, if I'm not mistaken, the first WrestleMania was Piper versus Mr. T by himself. Mm, I can't remember now. What, what in uh, uh, Hogan and uh, Andre the Giant, like four or something? Uh, that was three. like three. Three, yeah. 
That was when uh, Andre turned heel. It's sad. I can I can I can find out right now. I think now, the real first quick. <laughs> I think the first WrestleMania was Giant versus Big John Stud. Uh, let me see. Where's all the WrestleManias? Oh. Um, well, maybe not. Hulkster, Junkyard Dog, Jack the Snake, all the good old days. Yep. See, for me and anybody who lived in the Northeast, we grew up on WWE because that was the that was our local wrestling. Mm -hmm. Before they went before they went nationwide, yeah. the WWE was the Northeast Wrestling Association. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stacy, I don't think that was the first. Uh, that was not the first WrestleMania. That was either the second. What was? Hogan, Mr. T versus Mr. Wonderful and Rodney Piper. I think that uh, was no, it was no, shit, no. I'm, I'm looking one? at it. Yeah, it, it was the first one. Yeah. Andre the Giant, Giant and Hogan was two. Oh, was like Giant that. and Hogan two? Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's I'm looking good. at all of them right now. Hey, hey, Molly. Good to see no, you. Maybe I was wrong. Feeling better. Yeah, it happens well. time to time that I am wrong. We have My another wrestler all the time. To join us. Oh. Yes. No, that's not. Who's joining us? Hold on. Hey, Thomas. What up? I'm like, who am I looking at? Hey, what's up, Tommy? What's going on? Are you are you learned up on your wrestling facts? Well, apparently, that's what we're discussing. Now. So I'm actually watching WrestleMania as we're here. That's why I'm on the what? couch. You fit yeah, in so fine. Carlos is watching oh, it. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. So I'm not caught up yet. I'm at the Sami Zayn Gunther match right now. So no. anything after that, I won't be able to speak to. No, we we met caught up like WrestleMania one. Who was the uh, who was the uh, the main event for WrestleMania one? Oh boy, uh, I'm trying to find it. I thought I had it right here. It's got to be Hogan. It was Hogan. Well, it's always was Hogan it? Sheik, maybe? No, I think no. it was WrestleMania Rewind. This should happen. Hang on. Uh, WrestleMania said. 1 um, was preliminary matches, main events. Hmm. Hogan and Mr. T. It was Hogan and Mr. T against Orndorff and Piper. And Piper. I thought that was okay, true. That so was was right. No, I legitimately thought Hogan. I thought the Mr. T was WrestleMania. It so. said it. No, I know what you saw, Susanna. That's not what it was. That's episode one. Oh, there's chat. What's up, chat? But I said who, who was it? Right, but all that says is episode one. I didn't think that was WrestleMania one because it says Mania begins. Austin wasn't in, in three. It says Mania begins. Okay, I was right. I was right again uh, about Andre the Giant versus John Studd. So, WrestleMania 2 was a cage match between Hogan and King Kong Bundy. Got it. Uh, oh. And I and I, I think yeah, I just saw a Giant, video. Giant and Hogan was three. That one I remember. Yes. Giant and Hogan I remember was one. I told you. Tommy, this started because I said I remembered WrestleMania 1. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Out. I'll talk about this all night. <laughs> um sort of the mega powers Hogan and Savage Hogan and the Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Hogan and Savage. Four was Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah uh, versus the million dollar man. Ted It was for was that a title match too? Yep. I loved Macho Man. So good. Yeah. Snap into a slim gym. It's funny you oh say that. Yeah, I remember that. I actually just had a slim gym, so <laughs> not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> Um, not fun, yeah. As much as I liked WrestleMania, my favorite was Survivor Series when they used to like team up four on four, eight on eight. Yep. Yeah. They still do that kind of, but it's not like yeah. it was back in the day. No, we used to look forward to find out who the teams were. Like, oh, yes. this guy's, yes, there was a whole like courting process yeah. and everything. It was great. 
it was like when when demolition and 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 and, uh, uh, and the road warriors teamed up against uh, I can't remember who it was the bulldogs and somebody else. I'm like, yeah, like, that, that's awesome. Yep. I actually have a wrestling clip. Unlock really? the thing. Take the chain off. Hey, Brick Joe, you're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of beat time. I used to love that for last <laughs> last week. <laughs> kind of looked like Tracy with the long with the long hair, curly oh, hair. That did not look like Tracy Tina. No, no. Okay. not even. No way. Don't don't even compare. <laughs> yep. All right, fine. Um, Tracy doesn't have that many steroids within a mile of him, probably. <laughs> well, I mean, like the curly hair. <laughs> What steroids? They're all clean. Cut the crap. Whoever said that. Come oh, on. yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot. Don't be like that. It was don't, all don't. vitamins. This is all vitamins real, and, man. And, it's all, all real and prayers. Too, yeah, I forgot. Why are you, all, why are you ruining my vitamin childhood? Pr- oh my God. Vitamin prayers and whole milk. Why Eat are your you prayers. all Take your vitamins, brother. ruining my childhood? What did I ever do to you? Speaking of childhood... Carlos, did you hear they're taking away the shooting gallery at Magic Kingdom? I did. They're taking away what? Would you would you believe me if I've only if I told you I've only done it once? Really? They're taking yeah. away the shooting arcade. Over, really? Yeah. You know, they're going to make it a DVC lounge. Shocker. Really? So that's that's the word anyway. Do they, DV- they have a DVC? they have a DVC lounge in Magic Kingdom already? No. No. Nope. The only one that only had a cop, but they want to put one in every park, which makes sense. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, did you have to spend extra money for that shooting thing? I think at one point it was quarters. (laughs) We usually use it once a year, like when we don't go down, we usually we usually use it. I mean, it was great. It's again, it's something else that takes people away from lines. You know what I mean? Does it really? Have you ever seen a lot of people there, Tracy? Yeah, I <laughs> no, have I, been there. I, I haven't. <laughs> it is a great spot for an AC breaker to get out of the sun for a little while. It is good for that. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Um. Kenneth says, someone needs to donate donate me a lifetime supply of DVC, please. Hi, little Jason. You got, Jason got really small. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back. Um, so, I, I, uh, yeah, I like the shooting gallery. Me and, me and the girl child played there last time we were down. Um, yeah, Callum likes to do it. It reminds me of like the boardwalk, like yeah, and stuff from up north. Mm-hmm. Cause I remember like in New Jersey or Maryland, they had one. It's basically the same thing. It's the light sensor hitting the target. Mm. Everybody, uh, it, it gives me feels of Hollywood because they have a lot of boardway game, boardwalk games like that. Um, however, Disney World's is free. Hollywood's yeah. are not. <laughs> They're stupid expensive and you never win and get a prize. So <laughs> yep. Oh, and apparently uh the expansion of Magic Kingdom is happening. They they reportedly are starting to fall for I think what's gonna happen with that is the reason why Iger hasn't really said much is I think that's gonna be the big announcement at D twenty four. You think so? I know nothing. I'm just, I, I just, because they already talked about it in detail with like mock ups and everything. So Iger comes out and he's very vague about it. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, we're filing permits or, you know, whatever the article said. So I think Josh DeMario, I think that's going to be the big news at D23. Well, it's not big huh. news if we already knew about it. I mean details about it. Though, right, I, I was saying the, the only big news that they can actually say and not uh, 
repeat what they've done is just give a stupid date. You know, yeah. Well, I mean, it took them nine years. It took them nine years to build Tron. So we might see this in two decades. Yeah. Well, you know, they might come out and be like, "Oh, summer of 28, You know, this will be open because everything else we know already. And the only thing that's come up new is the new name for for Dino Land, which is the America's America's something. I already forgot what it's called. Yeah. America's something. Which um, I don't even understand. I don't know. I uh, <laughs> Disney. It's weird. Like, I don't know. I don't know that. I, I think they're they're just treading lightly to make sure they put the right IPs in Magic Kingdom. I think so. That yeah, because we they bounced off like four different ideas to go back there. Right, but, and they're they, they're saying it's the size of Galaxy's Edge, right? Yeah. So Galaxy's Edge uh, is not, not that, that big. Big. Exactly. So I how are you gonna put that. how are you gonna put even two IPs in a, in a land like that would be tough. So I mean I still think they should have did villains and that whole back section would have been awesome. Think about Galaxy's Edge. Now you think you walk into Galaxy's Edge and the size of that, that could easily be a villain's land, like with that size, that real estate. Yeah. And I don't mean like scary villain, you know what I mean? Like the point not to be like, you know, like Halloween Horror Nights, but... You know why villains will never happen? There's just too many. It's true. Yeah. You I, you know, even its own park, how would you... How would you scale it? I mean, because every almost... Yeah, pretty much. Every movie has a villain. So yeah, and there's not a lot of, like, it? type stuff either, so, like... Right, mm. so you can't scale it by lands, like, well... You know, right. this is this villain land, right. and, but we'll put these five together here. Right. You can't scale it that way. So no. I personally don't think a villain's anything will ever happen. As much as we all wanted have, to. Cars land would be awesome. Like if they Cars land got, would be cool. We got a Cars land like they have over in Disneyland. That'd be pretty cool. Even just now, we were watching Moss and Zeke before because it was on whatever channel it was on and Ethan was out here. And I turned to Suzanne. I said, "Listen, shut down Aerosmith, turn that roller coaster into Moss's Inc., and maybe add something else behind it, and, and just turn it into Pixar." They could. I, uh, Dreamer Deborah said, "I would really love a Frozen Land or Cars Land. Uh-huh. I wouldn't be surprised if it was either one of those, to be honest, because they've already done those." Yeah. It- Especially where's where's the frozen in Shanghai or something? Uh, yeah. yeah, man, that is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, and then the other one got Zootopia, got a whole Zootopia land. Yeah, I think Zootopia Frozen is the is the is the um, safest play, right? You know, we know we're getting Frozen three. It's iconic, you know, it's timeless is what they're looking for. You know what I mean? So they want to put something there that's going to last for the next, you know, 30, 40 years or whatever. So Zootopia might be more of a risk, I think. Frozen is the safe bet. This is true. Uh, the, the only one, the only thing that we can truly count on when someone hints at a change at Disney is every major clickbait channel gets to act like they were the only ones who knew it and broke the news. That's true. Right. Oh my gosh, I would I would love to have one of your little round tables, Chris, just talking about and I'm not dogging them, but talking about the the sites that report all this crazy stuff. Oh my and like they're big name sites too, like that mm-hmm. people think are affiliated with Disney and they're not. Like we have meetings at work about these sites. Really? <laughs> yes, there was one of those sites. I'm not going to start dropping names on these sites, but one of the sites that we all know put out there that there was like some like discount on Savi's workshop and all this stuff. So every single person kept coming up asking, "Oh, I read it on blah 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 blah," and we're like, "They're not affiliated with Disney. They're not affiliated with Disney." I mean, you could put a vlog up right now that says, "Oh, all merchandise is now fifty percent." It's I don't know. It's the yeah. biggest clickbait sites. Like I, I blocked a bunch of them on social media just because I'm sick of seeing like the headlines. Because I'm like, yeah, this just is not even possible. 
Yeah. It's uh, it's it's crazy what some of them report. And, and they all they're like, know the, it's so fact. vague, right? They're like yeah. major attraction at Disney shuts down permanently, and you're like, oh, you know, and people are thinking like, what closed at Magic Kingdom? But you click on it, and it's like some minor thing that closed for a week in Shanghai. You know what I mean? And you're like, it's just I don't. Know. I saw that one time. This is closing, and then uh, they made it sound like it was going to be a long time thing. You you go into it. And it was like Big Thunder was going down for refurbishment for like a week. Yeah. And just to get to the article, you get like 46 pop-ups. Yeah. You have to scroll. And like our blogs are like character-driven, like number of words. So the first like seven paragraphs of these stupid articles are all like – it's like Walt Disney World located in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, sitting on blah, blah, blah acres, you know. And you're like, can you just get to the article? But again, they get paid on the words. Like, it's and like, on top, and on top of that, most of them have spelling mistakes, so you know. Oh my that gosh, that's terrible. the funny part. The grammatical errors, yeah. Tracy, are hysterical. Listen, I am not a great speller. Like when I do a report for work, I rely heavily on word and a dictionary. Oh, and it under it squiggles a little red line under it. You know, like it's not that hard to. to, to I, fix. I I rely heavily on word. And I also have a paper dictionary that I keep there because sometimes I have problems with spelling and yeah. sometimes one word can mean two different things or it's close up to the spelling. And I just did a report last week or the week before and word now will check the grammar and everything and give you a score on how well you did in that in that in that report. And um, I remember taking a class years ago, and they, and in that class, it was like, when you're doing a report, anything between 1 and 100, you spell it out. Anything oh, over the 100, then you could use the numbers. Really? See, I always thought it was up to 10, but interesting. Nope. So welcome when in, I was doing... Welcome in, David Baco and yeah. Mark Langenkamp. Uh, good to see y'all. And uh, Wendy B., howdy. Good to see you. So when I was doing my report, there were, I had put the number in there, and it gave me a score of 96. And when I went back and changed that to the spelled out number, it gave me 100% on awesome. the That's a cool feature. professionalism of my report. But um, I rely heavily on Word. Autopia is getting electric cars at Disney. Is that real news? Mm, it makes sense, but I don't... I don't think we'll ever see that in Disneyland. I mean, Disney World. Disney World. What's that? Electric um, cars for our um, speedway. Well, the speedway. Wow. The um, Wendy, I was horrible so, in grade school with te- spelling tests. In fact, it was a running joke that when they graded all the spelling tests, mine was probably the worst. Spacey Pierce brought up a good point. The all-time classic attractions, Haunted Mansion, Mark Twain, Pirates of the Caribbean, Jungle Cruise, Autopia, Space Mountain, etc., were never originally based on a movie. And yet they became IP, and now everything, it seems like, must be IP. It, 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 it seems to me sometimes they overboard on IPs. If you look at Epcot Center, when Epcot was first opened, there was no IPs at all in Epcot. And it wasn't until they realized that they needed to bring in some IPs that... Next that's thing you know, recently. everything is becoming an IP. That's then that's recently. Like that's I mean, think about it. Like what what IPs are at Epcot, right? You got Remy, you got Frozen, right? And they're they're both relatively new within the past Guardians, right? Guardians, right. All all that is within the past what five years, maybe? And I say that just because Frozen was a while ago, but well, Frozen yeah. was the first one, I yeah, think. Yeah, Remy was what two years ago, and Guardians has been what a year. You so, got Nemo over at the seas. Well, yeah, maybe Nemo was the first one that brought it in. Like Nemo, they did the whole yeah. clamshells to take you into the sea world, the sea area. But uh, it just seems like more and more they just keep adding more IIP, IPs, and you're kind of losing that. Where's the originality? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like when when some, I think it was you, 
time that said, "Hey, listen, let's let's do cars for yeah. rock and roll." Somebody said rock and roller coaster, change it to cars. I, I kind of like rock and roller coaster because it's something that you won't see normally in 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 a place like that. That's like putting putting a, making a Tower of Terror what they do over in uh, Disneyland, making it yeah. Guardians. I mean, yeah. they just IP'd it. It, it. it was original. I mean. It, I agree, but I mean, Rock and Roller Coaster is kind of an IP, I guess, because of the tie with Aerosmith, or no? I don't know. I mean, no, I mean, the tie in with I Aerosmith. I like it how it is. Like, I'm not like, I mean, I'm all about adding stuff. I'm not, you know, but I would not have, like, I've never rode the Guardians of the Galaxy Tower of Terror, whatever it's called. I've never, I've never rode that, right? And when I heard that that was changing, I was like, wow. Like that is crazy because Tower of Terror is so iconic, right? But then I hear like you read about it and people are like, "Yeah, Tower of Terror is iconic. I get it." But like this Guardians thing is like awesome. Oh, I heard it's pretty cool. Yeah, There's so no that's doubt. interesting. Um, I think the biggest, I think the biggest problem, and even when you're dealing with like the current Guardians of the Galaxy, or even like the Rise of the Resistance, you know, when they when they came up with Rise of the Resistance, they have a, it's set in a certain period. And then the next movie that came out after the Rise of the Resistance, you know, some of the characters in that last movie had changed uh-huh. allegiances, and and now you go on Rise of the Guardians of the Galaxy, and you're like, or Rise of Rise of Resistance, and you're like, well, that guy is a mean guy in this, but we just seen him in the last movie, and right. uh, you know, so that is it, the hard part with IPs. You're right because like, even like, I'm trying like right, like so Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Like what we saw the latest movie. A lot happened, you know what I mean? Like where it makes that ride not even really relevant too much. So, it, it, you you can pretty much say the same thing as as in Rise. Who's your main two villains at that, that your IPs in 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 Rise of Resistance? It, it's Kylo Ren and and what's his face there, the the young kid. And by the third movie, both of them had to, you know, one of them was a. Uh, uh, informant and the other one turned sides you know what i'm saying so like i mean yeah i mean here it is kind of weird the movie right i mean Ky- i mean and, kylo ren is not here with us anymore you know what i mean <laughs> like right so, he's not he's not on the first order he's not even alive anymore and he and care and, and hux 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 trade you know was the informant in the last movie so it's not like so so now you go on rise and you see the characters, and if you and if you're a diehard fucking, sorry, if you're a diehard uh, Star Wars fan, you're kind of like, well, this doesn't match what's currently going on. I am so sorry, Chris. <laughs> Did I just okay? Let me step you heard it. For a second. I slipped. Um, I went back to my day job. So, I think. Uh... That's kind of why I was excited to hear that maybe they're doing villains. Uh, because I think that would be a lot more original rides if you if you did a land for villains. Um yeah. Uh <laughs> Mark's uh, comment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Carlos is sitting uh down uh, down down there. Hey Carlos, high five buddy on the couch. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, what's up? I don't know. I can't reach so for Carlo, Carlos is rubbing my feet while we're while we're sitting here. Mark, right Mark says is Carlos on the opposite side of the same couch with Tommy. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You never know. We're gonna see Carlos soon. My couch. Um, oh yeah, it's pretty much the same color. Yeah. Yeah. It's sold a wall. So this is scary now. <laughs> it's hysterical. Um and we got more more news about the changes expansion over animal kingdom they showed some models or sketches of what they're working on over there so um yeah they had talked about doing that expansion on magic kingdom uh at one point they talked about doing uh encanto or coco or something back there but it sounds like maybe that's more transitioning over to animal kingdom now I saw that. Yeah. I honestly I don't think they know what they're gonna do. Yeah. Um so I uh I wonder I still wonder if if we're gonna get 
a fifth park because there's still rumors persisting about a fifth park. I don't think you will. I don't think so either. It's weird. They have the land, I guess. I mean, no. I, th- I I think they I think right now with them losing so much money in the movies, they they need to get as many people in the parks as possible. Um, and the cost of building a fifth park is not conducive. Not with them losing money on on movies. They 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 are losing. I mean, other than the IPs they bought, and even that, even those, they're not doing great. I mean, That's Star Wars can't really be making them that much money. I mean, what, what was the Star last Star Wars? Mar- like, look at the last couple of Marvel movies. Yeah. You know, they did not do well. The Deadpool that, movie will do very well for them. Yeah. They will make a lot yeah. of money on the Deadpool movie. But that's the only Marvel movie coming out this year. Correct. Um, yeah. Yep. And, they, and the only reason why that's going to make money is because it was set up back with 20th Century Fox and... I don't think Ryan Reynolds would ever be able to make a Deadpool movie if it started out straight with Disney. No, absolutely. Not. Um, that's a good point, Sean. In that, um, I think some people are leery because of everything that was supposed to happen at Epcot and what ended up happening at Epcot. Yep, a lot of stuff canceled. They they promised oh, the oh moon, goodness. and we got like a a sliver of the moon. They didn't even do. I mean, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have mind the IP with Mary Poppins because it's not like they did. You know, uh, Cherry Tree Lane. That would have been awesome if they would have done something like that. But they, that's the one I'm most mad about. Honestly, is that one? I really wanted that. I wanted that too, but oh, we lost Carlos. Uh, I wanted that too, <laughs> but when they showed what the ride was going to be, it was just a carousel. It was. Yeah. It was teacups in, indoors so. i lo- i mean i i like what they're doing at epcot i really do the moana water thing is like i know people stream it i know how it looks when it's streamed and you're like oh cool until you experience it in person it is awesome it really really is because which it's one still, is this the moana water the water thing at epcot oh the walkthrough yeah it because I like it because yes, it's you've got your IP right, and um, but there's still it still has that vibe of Epcot, like old school Epcot, where you learn things. Like there's still teaching moments and stuff in that water experience in there, so it ties perfectly. And it's I mean it's I don't know. Every time Thank we you. go through it, Thank I you. absolutely love it. Um. I wanted to go back. Uh, show this. I didn't walk through it the last time I was down. I don't think I got a chance to walk through it. No, it, it we honestly, it, I, 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 I think it's awesome. So this is this is interesting. Here is um, here is a graph over the past. Year to date, I don't know what Tina's got. (laughs) Year to date, here is your Disney stock. Started out uh, 90 bucks, $90 and 71 cents. Uh, It closed Friday at $118 and 38 cents. And look, 30% year to date. We're making money. That that's that's uh year to date since January. One year, here you go. I think you could probably tell where Chapek started and ended. <laughs> yeah. Or or ended. But anyway. Yeah. I want that Seth Rollins robe. I really do. Don't spoil anything, Carlos. I'm not there yet. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not watching it live. Oh, sorry. Del- I was doing a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm. Uh, okay. Let me see how far back I am. I'm. Stay quiet. Um, Where are you? What are you watching now? I'm at the five hour mark, where Adam Pierce and Nick Aldis are in the ring talking about something. I don't know. I don't, even, I don't even know who that is. That tells you how long it's been since I've watched. Wrestling. The match that I just watched was Sami Zayn winning the Intercontinental Championship. All right. So yeah, you're about yeah you're about ten ten minutes back. Not even. Okay. 
five maybe. Okay. Let's see if I can fast forward through some of this. Um, Rollins and the rest of them, they're they're in the ring now. Being in the oh, ring. got it. Yeah, I'm, right now I'm at like the recap of the whole storyline. Yeah, so I'm, no. I'm, I'm fast forwarding to it. Hold on. Yo, that robe is wild. He looks like the. It looks. It looks like the genie from Aladdin crossed with. <laughs> the blue I, hat is is really. It's like I don't know. I'm sorry. Continue, Chris. No, you're good. <laughs> I was actually trying to pull something out. No it's, he's not wearing it. It's like so to his, it's on his shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. What the? So, um, in in related, since we you mentioned Marvel a minute ago, um, in in related news, this was announced this week. And I, I can't decide how I feel about this. Your Silver Surfer for the Fantastic Four movie is going to be uh, Julia Gardner. Hmm. Uh, from what I've read, she's in Ozark. Yeah, she's, I've, I've watched Ozark. She's a fantastic actress. And she's playing who? The silver She's playing surfer. the silver surfer, Wait, which doesn't the, surprise me with this. They've, they've they've gender swapped almost everything. Okay, that they could, I, so. I, just, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, not a big silver Marvel, surfer. So. Um, I mean, I like silver surfer, but that's not the Marvel that I'm up on. Was there ever any multi universe with a female silver surfer? Um, not not that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, I think in a what if or in a spinoff or something one time there was one, right, but not an actual, right? But not, typically in the main Marvel continuum, it's been, yeah, just a more in, top. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no. Finish up. Oh, did Luna make an appearance or someone else's cat? <sighs> My cat's sleeping right <laughs> there. Now. She is <laughs> I'm allergic to cats. Uh oh, Tina! Don't start so sneezing now. Not me. No, she's cute. Hi, Tom, Tommy. Since you, since since you seem to be that that old guy still watching wrestling, uh -huh. uh, since when did WrestleMania go to two nights? Um, probably. I'm sorry for the blue. No, oh, uh, probably like <laughs> four years ago. <laughs> four years ago was it? Okay, I think so. All right. Here All comes right. the Rock. So I don't get it. So they wrestle tonight, and then tomorrow they'll wrestle like. Oh, you know, let's go one on one instead. This match, this tag match, is setting the rules for the championship match tomorrow night. Oh my god! I just realized did that moron get the same tattoo his cousin has. Listen, um, when it, when did it go to two nights? When they needed to make more money off of it. They definitely didn't need to make more money off of it, but that's besides the point. These two have the same tattoo. Isn't that so pretty? Um, I haven't watched wrestling. Uh, don't get me wrong. I used to watch it every pay-per-view, every Monday Night Raw when it first started, every Friday. But, I mean, it's been, God, my son's 25. I'm going to say at least 10 years. I rem Do you remember that one episode when um, Stone Cold came out and sprayed the beer all over McMahon and, and The Rock? Yeah. Multiple occasions that yeah. I yeah, I was I was in I was in the stadium that day. That's awesome. I had no idea what was going on. I took my my I went with my father, my brother, and my nephew, and I had no idea. I haven't been watching wrestling in so long. I was like, I don't know what any of this is going on. Um, sorry, had to argue with Ethan. Sorry, <laughs> I um, uh, I'm hoping to go back to the Marvel talk for a minute. Okay, go let's ahead. go back. I'm to sorry. Marvel talk. Yes. No, it's I'm okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm hoping that was... they've made a lot of changes to the Deadpool script uh, as they were working on it, 
and I'm hoping that that corrects and changes some of the recent issues uh, with with the MCU. Um, yeah. Um, and and I'm interested to see where it goes from there because there was word that leaked this week. It said uh, X Men, the movie X Men, will go into production later next year. Yerf. Good evening, everybody. How you doing, Harry Potter? Yerf. Doing well. Uh, Carlos left so he could come in down there beside you. I left. Where'd I go? Yeah, it, it's the second time it's happened. It's like you leave and you pop back in. Well, the first time it just shut off completely, but I'm still here. I haven't touched anything. How are the glasses working oh, out for you, Jeff? What the what? I look I look like a ger every German secret agent from like every <laughs> Like so, I'm the bad, so Jeff, I'm the bad German guy in every movie. <laughs> so Jeff, how was Stalag thirteen? How was what? Stalag thirteen. Please tell me you used to watch Hogan's Heroes. I I, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Uh, I'll be Colonel Clint, right? You got my monocle. <laughs> <water. laughs> How did you not know the radio was in the coffee maker? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I, I keep thinking about Arnon Zola from Captain America. Yes. Oh, Mr. Rogers. Exactly. Yeah. Looks like from John Denver got a haircut. Yeah. There you go. That works too. That. Nope. He has Jeff, break your glasses in half and uh, put this one on him. He's got the same hair, too. I cannot break these in half. Like, this is this is my last <laughs> my last hope here. Like, I know nothing. My eyes have been watering all day. I can't see. I can't read. Uh, he, he looks like John Denver got a haircut. <laughs> Get it out of your system. Come on. Get it all out. <laughs> oh, it, it keeps going, too. Keep going. Yeah. Come on. Get it all out. I got thick skin. Go ahead. Slugworth. 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 There's Slugworth. Slugworth. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the best one. Nicole, nice one, Susie. I almost know how prom was. Oh, yeah. I got... So... <laughs> They have a um. <laughs> they have uh, Ange. The, um, come on, Ange. <laughs> come on, Ange. <laughs> <laughs> I need the everlasting God stopper. So, oh over at Disney Springs, I don't know if you know this or not. They have like um all these backdrops you can get. Huh? Wow. Yep. Like Disney photo ops. Yeah. So. Nice. They look cute. It's right behind uh, Ghirardelli. Yeah. It is That's right. Behind right. Ghirardelli. Yeah. What sure. was that photo set for, Jeff? You can get right. into the co op, too. Like, here, here's them all. Like, um, they had a Pirates of the Pirates of the Caribbean, like, theming, too. Is that oh, all nice. for prom? That's for prom, yeah. That's awesome. Where was the prom? Mm -hmm. At the House of Blues. Oh, Wait, wow. was it was at Disney Springs. Yeah. Oh wow. snap! I didn't know that. I thought, oh, that's cool. Oh man, that's a life. I had my prom at Disney Springs. I had mine at a broken down restaurant thing. They were giving away these free pins at Disney Springs tonight. Oh wow! Hulu and Disney Plus. Yeah. Nice. Good night. Um, Sean said he saw Jenna do one and she got a free pen for me. Maybe that was a pen. Um so do Dreamer Deborah wants to know, so do the parents go to get to go to prom too? No. 
we ate over there. Nice. But we didn't go to Palm. Man, my prom was in a crappy hotel, mass produced. Mine was in the high school gym, so we didn't even go anywhere. The Continental, that's where mine was. Mine was in an Elks Lodge, I think. Yeah. It was the Continental. And there was no food supply. We had to go out and get our own food. <laughs> Jeff, there you, you go. Put, you put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is so fun. You, you need to change up your hat game for that one, Jeff. Oh my gosh. This is yeah. So fun. I'm just reading the chat, and as everyone puts something in there, I just look for a picture. I think ours was in the gym. Ours was in our high school gym. Um, yep. well, their 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 prom isn't cheap. They have to they have to buy tickets for this, so they're. I think it was uh usually you have to buy prom tickets yeah we did yeah. too yeah, yeah were, we did too expensive. even though it was like in the gym. bucks or something i mean it's not cheap we didn't even have food though yeah neither we, did we they didn't no. have food we did yeah i saw somebody put in chat that they had food we didn't have food at ours mm -mm. Uh, suzanne said she had hers in a fancy hotel do they still do after prom party Yes, it's called McDonald's. <laughs> well, they try to host something so the kids don't go out drinking. Yeah, they they do that up here. Mm -hmm. That was I actually I actually gave them Tommy's address. So Tommy, expect them about 11, 11.30 tonight. That's fine. We told them that's where the after party is. So. Perfect. I got plenty of uh, Kool Aid and get the Fireball in the freezer. Capri Suns and some pretzel sticks. Pretzel sticks. <laughs> Oh, we all went out to eat, I mean, before the prom, like different restaurants. We didn't have food at ours. But, yeah, they, so, ate, they yeah. ate at the same restaurant we ate at. They ate at the Mary, Maria and Enzo's tonight. Oh, what would you think of it, Jeff? We were talking about that the other night. I thought it was. Here's what happened. Yeah. So the meal was amazing. Mm -hmm. we, we were so shocked by the meal. And afterward... I saw this guy I go, are you the manager? I go, that was, that was phenomenal. I can't believe we didn't try this sooner. He goes, follow me. So he gave us a tour of the whole restaurant. He wow. took us to Enzo's hideaway. Then he took us on these tunnels to over to the Edison. And he said, um, they're actually all connected. All those restaurants really? are connected. And they wow. connect to um, Morimoto Asia too, underneath. Oh. But he gave us all these tours. He goes, there's, there's this wine table in the back of Maria, uh, the, the hideaway. Yeah. And man. <laughs> Simon. Simon. Continue, oh, Jeff. It's okay. I, I did not know there were tunnels under Disney Springs. That's there, interesting. Tunnels. You can connect, they connect all of these restaurants. Yep. The, the manager was like, I don't know if he was the general manager, but he was taking us. It was so cool. Sean said maybe he was happy with you being the very the first people ever to say it was good. No, it was it was good. <laughs> it was the guy sitting three tables away and like, come on, let's go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Um... He had a job like Tom. He's like, come on, we're gonna go for a walk. I know it's I know where the tunnels are. See, no Pete. Yeah. Boris um, Gold and I. Yeah, that's what I wondered, Wendy. How does one get the wine table? Wendy, you want me to book it? I'll book it. <laughs> Asking for several friends. <laughs> the sauce, the 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 um, red sauce, whatever was on the veal parm and the meatballs. It was it was very good. Was it? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of those tunnels were there from. Um, Previous, uh, which we'll call it. Why is it slipping my mind? The uh, where Pleasure all the clubs Island. were. Pleasure Island. Thank you. Yes. Pleasure Island. I think it was a way that they would get like trash out and like you know what I mean, like oh. moving stuff through. Yeah. Well, Pleasure Island was on the other side. Was it? Pleasure no, Island it was, was right through the center. 
No, Pleasure Island was towards... Pleasure Island was where... No, no, no. Pleasure Island is where all that is. As soon as you get over that water, right? I could have sworn... I could have sworn Pleasure Island was where House of Blues is now. Over that way. No. No. It was in the middle of Springs. Yeah, it was... I, I remember our first year in 05, Pleasure Island was still up and running. Yeah. And it was right here with 02 when I'm trying to... I could have sworn I was still left. So here is Pleasure Island. <laughs> no capes, darling. Chat is fantastic. So I guess that's Paddlefish over here. Yep. Yeah. Where's Planet of Hollywood? Okay. Planet of Hollywood. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, as soon as you get over the bridge. So right over the bridge to the left, Marie and Enzo, is, is, it's all right there. Yep. What is 17? Uh, it doesn't show me. That's where it is, though. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure it was when I worked there, I kind of knew about those funnels. And I had asked them. But I could be wrong. The Edison is the old Adventures Club, Amy. AJ oh, is it? Said. So, yeah, so then that, yeah, it's right in the heart of everything then. Yeah, the Adventurers Club used to have like the the they used to have. I remember walking past there. They had like the living statue was out front. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can blow this up. Here is your full map. Um, can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. Save that. Yeah, we'll save that. Carlos, the rock is shredded. My gosh. <laughs> it's the best he's ever looked. I'm sure he's got a movie coming up, and that's why. Probably. Well, he's got the live action of uh, Moana, doesn't he? Yep. But actually, shouldn't be putting on weight for that. <laughs> True. I wonder how they're going to do that. Here we go. Yeah, I can't, oh, believe I'm, I can't believe I'm watching this. What's the what's the score to UConn game right now, folks? So this was Pleasure Island here in the center. Yep, right over the bridge. Oh, right. A lot of that water is filled in now. Yeah. Suzanne just screamed the score, and I didn't even hear. I it. heard it. <laughs> That's the sad thing. You guys heard her, and I can't. Um. So like 34 was mm. okay 35 let's do that shop for Ireland is here uh 30 <coughs> yeah so the 34 is Raglan Road right here Thirty-two is Paradiso. 37. Thirty-seven. All right, so it's right next to that. So whatever's to the left of that, that's where the that's where they all are. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-six. That's Cooks of Dublin over here. Crazy to think how long some of this stuff has been there. I mean. I'm still thinking back to downtown Disney days before it blew up. Don't worry, Tommy. We've seen what you're reading. Oh, stop it. I haven't had junk food all day. I have cake from Greg's in my fridge. Oh, uh, they have the best eclairs. Oh, my gosh. Where'd you get those, Tommy? Walmart. Walmart. They are so good. We went okay. to a place. Yes. We went to a place called Duck Donuts. Look at that. We had a Duck Donuts in Pittsburgh. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, Chris. Hey, Tina. Hmm? Can I eat my chocolate lollipop? No. Uh -huh. 
Someone wants to say hi. Someone on camera. Hi. Hey, hey. Hey. Huh? I said, how's everybody's night going? So far, so good. Good. Hope my dad's not ruining anything. Always. No. No, that that's Tracy's job. <laughs> that's messed up. I slipped back into some old habit. <laughs> Glad you weren't here earlier. Tracy was yeah. dropping up bombs. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, you've seen me in person. You know how I really. I did. Well, my so speeches. am I. But even I've never let it slip like that. Actually, I have. Uh, I can't remember if it was on here or not, but. I apologized. Um, I'm surprised I haven't ever sworn on a stream. I think that was the first time that I've I've actually like lost track of what I was saying. Carlos, when you were in that queue for Guardians, I don't know how you didn't. <laughs> that was still the best stream ever. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's warm in here. Got a food day tomorrow. Garden grill for breakfast and rodeo roundup for dinner. Wow. That's that's a good like garden grill for breakfast is very good. That's a that lot is amazing. That's a lot of food. I enjoy I am, garden grill breakfast. I like the garden grill for breakfast. Are you reading somebody in chat? Are we talking about you, Tommy. Chat. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't mean to uh, toot my own horn, but I cooked supper tonight. What did, did you make? You? You? Whoa, Wait, pepperoni this. lasagna. So uh, yeah, so this is uh, this was my first attempt at making something. So this is uh, I, I made the I uh, I have these uh, zero carb. Um, Sorry, Wendy. Um, wraps or, or like this the tortillas. Uh, I lined the pan with those, and then I cooked um, ground up turkey. Uh, I added no sugar, added uh, spaghetti sauce that I seasoned some up, um, coated the, the layer with that, added fat-free mozzarella and wow. low-fat ricotta, and did another layer of the tortillas and then repeated and then topped it off with cheese and um, low-fat pepperoni. How was it? It turned out amazing. I, That's I awesome. loved it. The cool thing about that meal, Chris, is the leftovers. That reheated tomorrow will be better. Well, so that's my plan. So I, yeah. this is about how much I ate. It was this little bit out of the corner. Yep. I, I'm planning that to be my meal for like many days. Yep. Nice. I am smoking a pork roast or a pork loin tomorrow. I'm going to smoke it like it's ribs. And see how that comes out. Yeah. It it turned out really well. The girl I had the girl try. Well, actually, both of the kids tried it. Evan doesn't like lasagna or meat sauce. He thought it was really good, and Elise loved it. They both couldn't believe that it was keto or low fat or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Evan doesn't like meat sauce. Evan does not like spaghetti sauce. Marinara, um, yeah. He'll, what about eat, what about sauce on pizza? He eats the sauce on pizza, but he doesn't like any it any other way. Exactly. Sometimes the sauce on pizza is more like seasoned and flavorful than like a marinara. That's yeah. Oh. I don't know. He's not even a big fan of ketchup. Wow. That's a shame. How does he? How does he eat mozzarella sticks then? Ranch, ranch, With mozzarella sticks. Wow, ranch. Man, I used to like your son a lot. There's there's a restaurant around what? here that. Who the hell does that? There's a restaurant here that if ranch. you order mozzarella, their mozzarella sticks, and they make really good ones. They make them fresh. If you order them, they serve them with ranch. They don't serve them with marinara. What ranch? 
you people down south are weird, man. No, I've I used Carolina dressing. It, it's very weird to me too. But rant, I, you just here's the thing that I hate though is when you get mozzarella. Now I don't necessarily like drown them in any of the marinara or whatever like that, but the kids love it. And Stacy does too, but the worst is when you get like mozzarella sticks or something or whatever, like garlic knots, and they give you a side of marinara and it's cold. Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. Tommy, are you comfortable? Can I get you anything? Are you, you good? You know, I could use an extra pillow. Um, <laughs> Do you need me to come over and give you a talk here? Well, listen, you oh, left oh, me stranded Jeff, in Jeff Kingdom know. without a charger cord. Jeff okay. doesn't so, know that we're on the same couch and I've already massaged your feet. Yeah, Carlos is rubbing my feet right now. <laughs> there. There we go. Here we go. Oh, Jeff's you, in the I don't middle. want to be in the middle of this. I do not want to be in the middle of this. There we go. Well, Jeff, you are. <laughs> I don't know why, but the song Torn Between Two Lovers comes to mind. <laughs> not stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> well, that one too, yeah. I did say talk, talk. Yes. I, I know what you said, but it didn't come out sounding like talk. Sorry. Um, These glasses are screwing everything up for me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't yeah, understand. Glasses. That's the excuse we've always used for him when things are coming out of his mouth. It's always the glasses. It's always the glasses. Look at the reflection in Jeff's glasses. Jeff, stop. Don't move. Freeze. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Look like a robot. robot. Uh, Mom builds Better. like to put ranch on her spaghetti. Wow. Uh, like the meat sauce and then a little ranch on top of that. I, I, oh, God. The kids like to dip their crust into ranch. And Stacy. Wait. Uh, uh, Kaylin, you don't like ranch, right? I hate ranch. Yeah, only Kellen and Stacy. The, the only time I like ranch is if I have to eat a salad with it. And that's, you know, you're at a wedding or something like, and the bride said, like, no, we're only going to have ranch. Okay, fine. I like fries dipped in ranch. Oh, yeah, I do. Or I used to. But how do you do mozzarella? I'm sorry, I'm still on this mozzarella stick I don't ranch. How do you... And Tommy, to touch on your point, I don't mind mozzarella sticks with cold sauce, but garlic knots has to be with hot sauce. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like some of you go to these pizza places and they give you like a side of mozzarella. Or, and it's yeah. like, it's no, not I, even it, room temperature. It's cold. Like they took it out of the fridge. Like, yeah. No, marinara cold here, like too. that is not good. No. No. Not only no, meatballs. Right. Uh, no. Wait, not. like with sauce or like just meatballs and ranch? Oh, Jeff, Neither. that's got to be one of your jokes again, man. You, you got a lot of them, but come on, buddy. Ranch on a meatball, so? Evan dip, Evan does dip like normal pizza in ranch, too. The only time, and Suzanne, I don't know if she put it in here. Suzanne dips it in ranch, but that's when she has buffalo chicken pizza. When she has um, buffalo chicken pizza, she's got to dip it says. in ranch. With sauce. Weird. Okay. Tommy, you've been back to the burger place? Me? You've been back to the burger place? Um, no, not unintentionally though. Have you gone yet? What does that mean? Not unintentional. Meaning like you mean to go back? Yes, we want to go back. It's we're not avoiding it. Like I, you know, like that. Have you gone yet? No, still haven't been there. Okay, well let's t tell Ange to text Stacy and mm -hmm. figure it out. All right. What we're talking about is Beth's Burger Bar. It's like a chain down here, but it's Beth's Burger Bar. It's not, it's a, it's a, I think there might be like two or three of them. Um, and it's the, the burger. It's just really, really good. It's really good food. We went to celebration the other day and I had uh, upper crust pizza. I haven't had that in a while. Oh my gosh. That's good. Have you had that Jeff? Uh, yes. Oh, well, the, um, the Sicilian. I have seen, no, I think we didn't get Sicilian, but I've seen it's so, it looks so good. I'm sure it's oh. fantastic, but. That's yes. something like outside of like you know like Via Napoli and stuff. You you do not find Sicilian pizza in Florida. Like that's they they don't even know what that is. Yes, upper crust. Upper crust is so good. That pizza was fantastic. I think they I took. More you know what? I think I took a picture of my pizza. Hold on. Does does it come in a white pizza? Yeah, they have everything. Got it, Tracy. Look at this pizza. <laughs> in Florida, we we'll got get that started, pizza. Trace. Wow. I mean, that is a New York style, Philly style pizza right there. And it was, oh my gosh, so good. Tommy, am I going to see you Friday? 
Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, I'm bringing pizza from up here. What I are you pizza. really? Well, <laughs> Jeff don't like Rhode Island pizza, but <laughs> what do you bring? Knows, Tina knows what I'm talking about. It's not mm -hmm. pizza. Oh, you're bringing like um, the um, tomato pie. The cold tomato pizza. pie. Yeah, the, the cold pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. pizza strips. Yeah, party pizza. Yeah, to me, we mean, call it like tomato, tomato pie. pie. It's not right. pizza. <laughs> like, look at look look at these. Look at this. Look at this food that Upper Crust has. Tommy, I got wow. a whole I got a whole Sicilian there, and it the box weighed about twenty five pounds. Yeah, jeez. Yes, Wendy B. Thank girl? you. Exactly. I am the pizza. I'm the pizza guru. That's right. Someone in Orlando needs to go to Underground Pizza. Okay, let me look that up because I have I love trying pizza places. Um, underground. Puppy yeah, I promise. I promise Donna and Sam a, a whole sheet of uh, our pizza. It's not pizza. <laughs> it does not uh, have cheese. And it's cold. Sam likes sells. Not pizza. Stay, Carlos, Stacy's going to be so excited for that. I don't even think the kids remember it, honestly. Caitlin, do you remember tomato pie? Where like it's doesn't sell like pizza with to me, sauce yeah. on it and cheese, but it's not like hot. I don't remember that or no? That's 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 not this pizza. One, yeah. This one there is no cheese. Suzanne no says cheese. she doesn't like it. She doesn't eat it. Suzanne doesn't no, like it. No, she don't. She doesn't like it, but when I buy it, she's like, oh, let me have a bite. <laughs> Jason bought a whole sheet of it, and I'm like, get that away from me. And then afterwards, I was like, wait, I want a piece. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I took some to the beach that day. I think you had some. Did I give you a... Did I tell you about what happened when I took Zach to get glasses? No. We heard you came back long. with those. <laughs> I had these. <laughs> I heard the story this morning. But the rest so, of them then. That's the pizza, right, Carlos? That is not pizza. Yeah. Well, tomato that pie. one, yeah, that's tomato pie. That's like Pillsbury dough with. It's, it's the wrong cheese the, on it. There is, no cheese. there is no cheese. There is no cheese on it. Cheese well, that's, parmesan, that's grated that Parmesan has, cheese. Yes, 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 yes exactly, Tina. One, you're exactly that right. That one does, yes. Up here, but that's. That's in Philly or Jersey, wherever that is. The one yeah, that's a here, Philly thing. Right. And New York. Up here it's, it's up here too. Has no salt. I mean, no cheese at all. And it's made on sheets. I want to say about, I don't know, 30, 30 inches by 24. Yeah. I mean, they're made on enormous bread sheets. Yeah, that looks like somebody started out saying, I'm going to make a bunch of pizzas today. And they got halfway through and they're like, oh, screw it. I'm done. No, they're like, oh, I forgot or, to get no, cheese. No, but that's why they or, call or, party or I pizza. forgot to buy cheese. No, well, that's why they call party pizzas. You make a whole bunch of them. It used to be really cheap. I mean, they're, they're, they're four by four slices. It used to get them for like 40 cents a slice. Mm. See, it's, it's like, all right, let's go. I'm hungry. What do we have in the house? We have some bread and, and we ketchup. have some red sauce. No, hey. bread and ketchup. Hey, I ketchup. grew up on a. Oh. And it's like I the grew up on a lot. Of, <laughs> I grew up on a lot of English muffin and tomato sauce pizza. Yeah, no, that's a staple in our okay. house. Bagel pizza, or, or because we're Portuguese, our Portuguese rolls, cut them in half and mm -hmm. put sauce on it. And that's what my mother used to have in the house was the grated parmesan, and that's what we used to put on it. So, BP says, Jeff, have you tried salsa pizza bar yet? I don't even know what that is, VP. Mm. Salsa. And Stephanie L said the full name for that place was Brad's Underground. Brad's Underground Pizza. Pizza. Interesting. It looks. Uh, welcome in, Michael. Ed ninety eight. Good to see you. Um. Jeff Condon says, I'm a human garbage disposal. Bring it. Jeff, I'm telling you, you'd like it. Don't listen to, you know, everything this guy says. It's really good. Don't listen to my wife either. And Tina. I guess we could tell a whole bunch of people out there. I like it. It's just. <laughs> I've, I've never <laughs> seen it. I've never had it. I'm not a huge pizza person in general. Like, I like bread. My grandmother would make a big pot of sauce. Dip. 
get the Italian bread straight from the bakery and I dip that right in that bad boy. Beep, beep. That's the fun. only pizza I don't like is Chicago. Boy, I yeah, don't like deep, deep dish. dish pizza. I don't. Yeah, I don't either. I want a deep dish so bad. I would love to have a deep dish. But I, I like a good Detroit. I like a good Detroit style. Do Philly showed us uh, a couple of places up here to have it uh, before they moved down. That one's a good style. I like it. Thicker crust. It's funny because I don't like deep dish, but I like a thicker crust. <laughs> you like you like a bread pizza. Yeah, a Detroit like style. a pizza hand. Yeah. I got like the old Pizza Hut pan pizzas. Uh, yeah, those are all right. Um, I used to work at a Pizza Hut at one time. Oh, apparently this Sal's place is really good. Yeah, I'm looking uh, at pictures. Said that's one she likes. It looks pretty good. Sal's in Connecticut? No, Sal's oh. Pizza Bar. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like, Sal's in Connecticut is the best freaking pizza in the world, man. <laughs> New Haven style pizza is the best pizza. I mean, oh, I watch anywhere. Those. What, what was, where's that from? Sal's. Oh, that's good. That looks like a pizza from let's, up let's, here. Those meatballs on the pizza? No, no, they're no that's pepperoni. Pepperoni. like the ones that curl up. Yeah. I didn't. Th I doesn't pepperoni just pepperoni? All pepperoni? No, no, no. no. Oh, pepperoni no. actually curls and it makes a nice little cup. No. And all yeah, that grease sits right up inside that pepperoni. Yep. Any pizza okay. place that if you order a pepperoni pizza and the pepperoni stays flat, you got junk. Oh. Okay. Good to know. It needs to curl. Then you know to use the good stuff. That's what she I like said. when it gets crispy. Yes, and that's why that curl, that that curl that pops up and it and it crisps those edges of the pepperoni. Like this, of like pepperoni. That, Sal's, that looks really really good. I'm gonna find this. I'm gonna try this place, VP. That's Sal's pizza. That's just a regular cheese pizza, but that that looks really good. Oh, that looks good. Too much cheese. No, yeah. it's not. You can't no, have too much there's cheese. There's no such thing as too much cheese. Man, I love grow, you. growing up here, man, we used to have the what, what we used to call bubblegum cheese. You would have to chew it for like 20 minutes before you could swallow oh, it because it was, you know, really cheesy. Like, it's like walnut cheese. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good stuff. All right, Chris. Oh. It's 11 o'clock. I'm bailing. All right, Tracy. Have a good night, sir. Talk to you guys. Hi, Thanks Tracy. for the invite. Mm. Enjoy the pizza talk. Later, and whatever they're eating. I don't know. <laughs> it, UConn won, I guess. Suzanne. Oh, thank God. Hopefully they can beat that big freak. The women didn't. No. I think they got robbed. I think NCAA wanted Iowa at the end with that girl. Caitlin I mean, Clark. She, she's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Unbelievable. But... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't think she's she. I don't know how. Like, I mean, I'm not like saying I'm some like women's basketball guru, but I don't know. Will her height hurt her in the WNBA? Like, is she big enough to play in the WNBA? Listen, she can go play for the Sacramento Kings, and they'd probably make the playoffs. True. Okay, oh. she can go play for the men's team right now. Um, Stevie K, I almost ordered that before my surgery, but I still couldn't eat then. I really wanted to order some of that because they ship. All around the country now. Suzanne and I, we haven't had, well, not like she can hear me, she's in here. We haven't had a New Haven style pizza in a long time. Can't go this week. I had been craving back. pizza, and that's why I made that tonight. I looked up pizza casseroles for, you know, um, diet, that sort of thing, keto. I and I found that, cat, that recipe, but to me, that's more like a lasagna than it is. Yeah, pizza, but it was really good. You can get uh, uh, because I've seen it in these grocery stores. You can get a uh, keto style uh, bread dough and yeah. make your own pizza. I'm not allowed to have regular bread yet, though. Even if it's a different, like I said, different dough, different. Mm -hmm. No, okay. oh, I'm going to the bakery tomorrow. So my diet changes uh, tomorrow. I get to have nachos tomorrow. So here's yeah. a question. What's the difference between the day? Couldn't you have just had nachos today? What's no, the timing Tina. factor? My stomach has a clock. 
And, and if I go okay. too early, no, I'm okay. kidding. I don't know, Tina. But Oh, no. it's, you, you really had me thinking that was a thing. Uh, I was really asking. They got to go back in and take it out in a little, you know, in yeah. a few weeks. <laughs> you ate that too soon. Sorry, we've got to, you know. You know, I'm talking about the clock. I'm talking about the clock they put inside of you. Exactly. You can feel it ticking. The, the, your doctor's office, your your Wi Fi into them directly, so they're, they're monitoring everything. So hey, Tommy, yeah. you're joking, but I am. <laughs> really? Through my uh, through my uh, my insulin reader, through my uh, really my glucose. Oh. Yeah, through this glucose meter. She's like, uh, I went and see my uh, my endo, and she's like, "Can I have your phone?" I'm like, "Why?" She's like, so we can link. So she monitors my my glucose meter right at the doctor's office. Wow, that's that's really cool. That's cool. she's like, I'm gonna call you in two weeks. We'll talk about your numbers. We'll go up in your insulin or down. And oh my god, she knows crazy. if you're like a Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, she's so like, she's yeah. bored right now. She's like, well, this guy just had his coffee because look at him, he's three thirty right now. This moron. Wendy B, I I will give you the full menu, the full recipe tomorrow. I'll uh, take pictures of the things that I used and show those tomorrow on the stream tomorrow night, if you'd like. Um, Cause I'll be honest, I was surprised how good it turned out considering everything that I was using was sugar free or healthy. Cause I usually did. I never liked to eat healthy stuff before the surgery, but it was dang good. I find it funny with Disney and pizza. That yep. with all these great kinds of pizzas, like a New Haven style, like I said, it's the best in the world, I think. What you is the, before you go on, Carlos? What is New Haven style? The chat actually asked. Yeah, it's the I'm crust. Good. It's the crust. So what's on the explain? Well, Google it and look at the photo. It's it's a thin crust. It's made in a uh a coal fire pizza. I was about to say, aren't that isn't that the one we looked up that night where it's yes. almost kind of burnt it's on top? Burnt. Yes, yeah. it's a very thin crust. They burned the crap out of it. It's yeah. light. Ah, it's it's like light that. on cheese. It's light on cheese. It's a. It's a. It's a certain style of crust. That's what makes it go. New Haven style. Interesting. Just look up. Look up. Uh, Frank Pepe's Pizza. I, I found some pictures. Yeah, or just New Haven style. Yeah, not yeah. my style. Oh, look at that. That is oh that looks like someone fell asleep when they're making pizza. No, man. Uh, Tommy, I'm telling you, buddy. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try. <laughs> it it is something. Even my wife, who is very picky with the way she eats, and uh she really likes it. But you got that style, but like I was saying, you got Detroit style, but yet you go to Disney and Besides Viennapoli, all their pizzas are awful. It's that. Except the boardwalk. No one believes me. Yeah, well, I knocked that one too, buddy. I don't like boardwalks either. So it's good. All, it's all bread. It's bready. Mm. To, you know, it's, I don't know. Why is it black on the bottom? Because it's made on a coal fire stone. So oh. it's, it's oh. just. The, Thank uh, you, Stacey Rogers. I it's just the dust. It's just the dust of the pizza. The burnt the pizza. That looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> I will never forget going to eat at Viennapoli for the first time, and they ordered the white pizza and the tirade that Jeff went on because it was not real pizza. <laughs> he could smell it, and it was a table. Horrible. He wasn't even sitting at our table, and he could smell it and see it from where he was. Nope. I do not like white pizza at all. Jeff, Jeff, Tommy, this was Tommy. This, it wasn't only white pizza. Oh, the person that ordered it added artichokes. Oh, they, yeah, it, it stunk. It, it just, love artichokes, Tony. Tony, if you're here, we apologize now. It wasn't you, it was your wife, but but uh, <laughs> I, I went a time before that with the VPs and with Jeff and. And it was my first time going, and they ordered two big pizzas, one um, one white pizza, one pepperoni. And the white pizza came, and Jeff went on this whole tirade about how it's not real pizza. And he ordered a boat of marinara, mm -hmm. and he ended up drinking it straight out of the boat. Dang right I did. 
Vienna Poly Pizza is really good. Like, I legitimately yeah. think I could finish a whole one myself. It's that good. Yeah. Tommy, I've come very close. I'm the one of a lot. I've I come can, very I, close. You can ask Stacy and the kids. I can put away pizza. It, ask Jeff. Whenever we go over his house, he has pizza. I never leave anything or anybody else. I eat it's, it all. it's easy because it's it's a light pizza. It's not a thick dough, and it's right. very light. So it's very easy to, to knock a whole mezza mezza down. It is so good. Yeah. That and when we're on vacation, I hate throwing food away because I'm paying for it all. Of course. So I'll make sure to eat every slice left over. <laughs> so that's how Thank I've come you, really Stephen close. Thank you, Stephen K. Thank you. I can't, every time I tell people about the Borough Pizza and they go try it, it doesn't matter. Steve, Corey, everyone's like, nope. And it, it's so I don't like good. It. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Jeff, you don't like it either, do you? I wasn't going to burst your bubble, but it sucks, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> again, listen. Again, coming from Jeff, is there, is there really any merit to, to, to that? I mean, Tommy. It was good. It's fantastic. It's, not good. it's very it's, good. It's not good. Have you eaten the pizza that you make? What? It's... <laughs> I make good pizza. Wow, we're getting personal now. Holy I can crap. Toss pie. <laughs> <laughs> the boxing gloves are off. <laughs> Jeff makes very good pizza. I've had it. Jeff oh makes my, very good pizza. Damn, we went from like, you know, a chain to a, a you see what you eat at home? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff makes good pizza. I've had the Jeff pizza. It's good. <laughs> Jeff makes ketchup pizza. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll give you this. I put it ahead of Pizza Rizzo. And that's not saying much, but... <laughs> I tell you, you just haven't had it on a good day then. The wrong cast on a good day. The wrong cast. You probably had it once. I've had it like 46 times. You're yeah, right. I have. Yeah, I'm not denying that, Tom. I've had it's, it once. It's really good. Oh, gosh. Are you live, Tommy? Are you watching this live? Yeah. Oh, wait. Wrestling? No, I paused it. Oh, okay, then. So I won't say anything. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I it's, paused it's, it. It's, it just ended. So. Oh. Um, okay. was, it, is it, was it good, though, Carlos? Like, was it entertaining? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure tomorrow will be better. Got it. Oh, the red socks are on. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I can turn this off and put the socks on now. Where's Kellen? Oh. He was filming videos for his YouTube channel. Uh uh. I'm probably in the minority. The last time I had Pizza Rizzo's, it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was pretty good. I would rather have Pizza Rizzo than Boardwalk Pizza. Just, you're from, no. the, whatever. The kids I love keep, the meatball subs at Pizza Rizzo. I keep saying the best thing about Pizza Rizzo is that little Caesar salad that comes with the pizza. I, I will also say that uh, price per ounce there's no beating pop Century's pizza um, when you order a whole one for 20 bucks and late at night and it tastes amazing you know who's got what resort has a great pizza is saratoga springs because they have really yeah they got a small uh, a small stone oven in there yeah, really? Like the, the wow. round ones at Saratoga? Yeah, go to Saratoga. Wow, I've food, never had it. The food court has uh, one of those stone round ovens in there to make the pizza. No way. Yeah, it I'll comes out try that. really good. Pop, pop Century Pizza. Good stuff. And yes, she's I, a big Boston fan. Chris, is that what we got when we were hanging out at one of those? That was exactly world? what we had. Yeah, that was good. Angela's and it's 20 bucks for a whole pizza. I mean, and the pizza's big pizza. too. It's, it's decent, yeah. It's a huge pizza for 20 bucks with pepperoni. The girl yeah, child says it's that, the best yeah. pizza she's had on property. Yeah, we got that pizza. That was good when we were there. It was really good. I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the boardwalk up pizza oven for Christmas, uh, Tommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe maybe that'll improve their game. I think Jeff won the Powerball tonight. If that's the case, if he's buying Disney a pizza oven, no, it's only like hundred bucks. You just Actually, haven't. You probably ordered the wrong food. The pizza, yeah, it's <laughs> definitely the wrong food. That's all right. Is I, that um, <clears throat> um, isn't that 
Trattoria Al Forno that's there at the boardwalk. Is that good? Yeah. Yes, very it's, good. Trattoria Al Forno is one of my favorite restaurants. Yeah. Really? Okay. The so bread that they make there, like their table bread they make is like, I would go there and just sit there and eat 15 loaves of that bread. It is that good. They make their own sauce there every day. Really? They it's make sauce. Food. See, that's the thing. The dough from the, the boardwalk pizza, it's made. It's the same ingredients from that restaurant. You know no. that, right? No. Yes, it is. It's, it's different. No. You order the pizza in Trattorio Forno. It is 500 times better than that slop that they're giving out at the boardwalk window. Suzanne is going there for her mother-daughter breakfast. We've never been, so but she that's what she picked. It always looked good when we did the hangout there that time, but I've never been there. I was wondering if it was if it was good. I've um, heard so many mixed reviews about Mama Melrose. You guys have heard me on the streams. You know, some people like it, some people don't. It's like, oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go there. And I think they're I, working on a new I, menu. New right, menu. Items. And I booked it. I booked it for this trip next week, and I'm like, oh, great. And now I get is the new menu. Yep. <laughs> so. <laughs> I can't even compare it to what everybody was comparing it to because it's so <laughs> yeah, darn new. new. Yeah. So you'll hear me to say it's good or bad, and you guys can decide. I, we talked about that uh, the other night. I, I've had Mama Melrose a couple of times, and I've always enjoyed it. I know it gets not great reviews, but. Yeah. Well, it gets better reviews than Tony's. I heard Tony's yeah. is a lot better, though. Well, see, there you go. Yeah, Tony's is. <laughs> I heard last that times I had Tony's, it was really good. I think we only ate there like once, maybe. I've never had either, so it's going to be our first time with Mama. We'll want to try something different this trip. Everything else we're having is the same that we've always had, so I think. When do you come in, Carlos? Friday. Oh, you come in Friday, nice. Yeah, very early. Got it. Cool. So I might be sleeping on Donna's couch. <laughs> so uh, Sean sent this to me, Carlos. Yes. Uh, let me. Uh... Sally's. Yes. Sally's. I, I am dying to go there. We, have, then, a Fra- uh, we have a Frank Pepe's here local because it's more of a chain now. But you I'd got love to go to back Sally's. into the kitchen to the oven. Right. Look at that oven. Their paddle. That oven is about 12 feet deep. So they have yeah. like long paddles to, to, you know, move the pizzas around. And you never cook the same, uh, you never cook a pizza in the same spot. Um, I think they said it's like every, every half hour it takes for that spot to warm back up. You can yeah, see all the that. huge pizzas in there. I mean, yeah. Okay. That's it. When I move, I want a pizza oven. Yeah. They never shut those ovens off either because they keep filling it up and it keeps the heat stays on in there. So that's another thing with that oven. Sean looks so happy. (laughs) He did. Yeah. Like a little kid on Christmas morning. That's crazy. I bet that is good. I, uh, Sparkly Pink Diamonds. Hello, Angie. Welcome in. Um, we used to go, and I don't know if anybody else remembers this, back when it was downtown Disney. What is that? Wolfgang Pucks used to have mm. uh, wood-fired pizzas over there. Those were really good. His quick service had it. Yeah. And it was closed now because my father-in-law got it. I've never had it, and he did, my mother-in-law. And they had it then. It was really good. They were we, really good. We went there several times and always loved it it was so good um yeah you know what they had there chris they had a good breakfast at that wolfgang pucks really they had this it was um it was uh cornflake or no it was frosted flake covered french toast at that that wolfgang pucks it was really good where was that back by the christmas store it's where that uh, eat is now. Yeah. Mm, yep. Back. Yeah. Back by the Christmas store. It's hidden mm-hmm. back there. Yeah. I miss I that place. 
I promised I opened my mouth too early, but whatever. I promised Ethan uh, sci-fi this trip. Just go for milkshakes. I'm not going to eat. The food's not <laughs> the that reason, good. The only reason I'm taking, well, he he's listen. The kid doesn't never ask for anything. And he wants to go, so I'm going to take him. But I'm taking him Sunday, and we have a fifties. Colors do we have? For us? Yeah, we do have for us. I am not making that tomorrow, Suzanne. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have, I don't, uh, no, I am not. I'm not ruining my frosted plate, wasting my frosted plates for that. Um, what was I saying? I'm taking them on the Sunday. We have 50s Prime reserved. I know he's not going to eat there. So I'm going to take him earlier, let him eat at Sci Fi where I know he'll eat. I'll, you know, just see to sit there, have a side salad or something, just to save me money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I'll so take him there. To studios on Sunday? Yeah, cool. I'll be working. Come, come, uh, come visit. Oh, definitely, definitely. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'll be there. Nice. You there in the morning? Uh, no, I'm in the after, late afternoon. You'll all be there all day or night? Uh, yeah, we'll be there pretty much all day because we're gonna watch. I want to watch Fantastic. Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, so we'll come say hello. I can try and uh, you know, I try and get you on Rise of Resistance and all that stuff too. So I can do it for you. Yeah, cool. We'll come see you. Oh, that's right. Suzanne is taking him. I forgot. We made that change earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I made a, yeah, what did I make it for? 11 o'clock or something. I'm like, she can take them, let them go eat. Saturday. Saturday. What did I say? Oh, Suzanne just reminded Saturday. I'm sorry, not Sunday. Ew. Got it. Nope. That's right. Um, what did Neil, I, Sunday? I, I just want to let Neil know we all got our uh, Depends undergarments to wear to your next concert. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wendy B says sci fi right is fun though. Let him enjoy. Get a milkshake. Yeah, the milkshakes are good. Oh, Wendy, we've been, uh, he's been, listen, he's been born in me. We've been once as a family. The food was awful. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even want to say it was mediocre. It was awful. I've, hey, had, better, I've had better quick service. I agree. Backlot Express is 100 times better. But, it's 50 feet away from it. Right. The, but the experience is fun. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I enjoyed watching the screen. It's cool to be in there. It really it's different. Is. It's unique. It's nothing that you can go in your hometown and do. Right. Really. Like, and he, it, what was what made it the best was him. Because he was whispering in there as if we were in a movie theater. That's like, cool. Oh. We're not supposed to talk out loud. Yeah. The kid loved it. Michaela took him last year by themselves. It's funny because we were at fifties. <laughs> we went to fifties. I knew they weren't going to eat there, so they. I set them off. You know, scan your magic band. Just go eat. Go pay. Um, so they went by themselves. But Michaela wants to go to fifties this time. So I'm like, you know what? And he's like, well, I looked at the menu. I'm like, the kid's not going to eat anything at fifties. So, like I said, I made that reservation a couple hours apart. Let him go eat. Let him enjoy himself. He's 12 years old. He doesn't ask for anything, you yeah. know. Least I can do is that. But like Wendy said, I'll go have a sh – well, no, Suzanne's going now. <laughs> so, but my plan was I was going to go have like a side salad or something, let the kid eat whatever he wants and just uh... – I, I, I'm with you, though, Tommy. I love Backlot Express. I don't know what it is, but I love that place. It's, I, it's, it's just – it's low-key one of the top quick service spots on all property. <laughs> There's plenty of seating. Now, which is great. now, because it wasn't the greatest. I just, it's none of none of Hollywood Studios quick service was really good back in. So yeah. I'm actually on the flip side. I actually don't. I really enjoyed ABC Commissary before yes. they changed the menu. Oh, really? I thought you were going to say now. <laughs> no, now that it's it's okay. Like, but I liked it before they changed the menus. But they have steak fries there, so that's good. Yeah. See, I think that buffalo chicken at ABC and the Cuban at Backlot is the two best sandwiches right now in that uh, in that Could park. Well, I, take away the Ronto wrap, but I've never tried ABC commissary, uh, oh, but that yes. buffalo chicken sandwich thing was so good. so good. Yeah. Um, I've had one Ronto wrap before, and I really liked that. I haven't got That's, to try the breakfast over there though. Yeah, Kellen had the regular one. Yeah, Loved it. I don't. I don't do the breakfast one. I do the the regular. 
I haven't eaten at the other quick service in Galaxy's Edge. Um, Wait, what? I haven't eaten at the other quick service at Galaxy's Edge. Whatever Which that one? other one is. Docking Bay. Sorry. Docking Bay. Bay. Yeah. Oh, I th- well, I thought that's where you got the Ronto wrap. Got it. Got no. it. Got it. That's yeah. Well, that's where I got my last round to wear because I went so late. It was like yeah. eight forty-five right before the park closed. I didn't oh, know. Oh, so you can get, get the Ronto wrap both places. Yeah. So the the stand is available up until they open, and then you oh, can okay. get it inside Docking Bay Seven. Yeah, I didn't know that. Speaking of Galaxy's Edge, I was at work last week, and they closed Oga's Cantina for a fire. Really? Yes. It was. Um, I don't mind sharing it. It's fine. Nobody was hurt. Um, the cantina was closed for probably around from like four o'clock until almost nine at night. And wow. what happened was, um, so if you've been in there, you know, you walk in and the bar is pretty much right there. So say you're sitting at the bar and the bartender's looking at you behind the bartender is another, like another little bar area. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's where like the sink is and all that down there. And the cast member was saying he a cast member came up to him and was like, Do you smell that? And when he turned around and looked, he could see smoke and he could smell something burning. And then one of the leaders came in and blasted it with like a fire extinguisher to put it out. So it was like some kind of like little electrical fire down there with all the little lights and stuff. But huh. everybody got out and there was no one hurt. There was no serious damage. They were open. They said I think it took them four hours to clean up and fix it, and then they were they were back open that night by like nine o'clock for like a little bit to catch some reservations. But you could smell it; like it was, you know, it's scary. Yeah, maybe the water was on fire. Could be. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tommy going against his own beliefs and dropping the clickbait. That'll yeah. be the new thumbnail tomorrow. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. You just have to wait to get to the one hour and 50 minute mark to get to the news. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of Cubans, I got to go have the one that Jeff had the other day. Over at the, what's that booth? What's the name of that booth again? Something fresh? BP Galaxy's Edge, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Jeffrey. What's that? What's the name of that booth? Florida Fresh. Florida Fresh, thank you. That's the one that's got the lobster tail, right? Best food booth, flower and garden. Hands you mentioned down. it today, Jeff. The food booths don't seem to be as busy anymore. None of the food booths are busy. Um, with with the past couple of festivals, they would have these huge long lines, and you were walking around today, and there was you could walk right up and get whatever you want. Yeah. We're just all listening to Tina laugh. You care to share, Tina? I I punched myself in the boob. (laughs) (laughs) I almost said something, but I don't know how. Jeff does that all the time. It's fine. It's fine, Tina. Jeff. You know what? I've mentioned Tina. It couldn't have hurt much. Um, (laughs) Sorry, I had to. So, Madison's Madison's um, boyfriend Matthew had a event today there was a cast member event uh-huh. and they got all these thunder sticks i go go ahead matthew hit me with it and he didn't want to hit me with it so zach took it and i said go ahead zach and he hit me and he grazed my nipple like he didn't hit me in the chest he grazed my it like stung like it was so painful they didn't start bleeding again did they no but they're very tender have you uh, taken a test recently? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> is, is when I do that, I never laugh about it, Tina. <laughs> it only took an hour and 52 minutes for it to officially go off the rails. That's a record, I think. Just wondering how many months Jeff's pregnant right now. What the hell is that play? What is this guy doing? Ooh. Ice cubes will help those, Jeff. I don't know. It was like he had my whole chest to hit me, and he totally missed. And... <laughs> but it's the Zach. Do you think it was actually an intentional miss, or he knew what he was doing? Man, I don't know. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Joe. Uh. 
Um, Neil, you'll know when I throw him on stage, buddy. Wendy B has a message for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Caruso says Jeff brings these situations on himself. No. <laughs> Neil, how many granny panties you get thrown at you? <laughs> Suzanne hasn't been to Flower and Garden. She was telling him, Ethan's never been to Florida. Ethan's never been to Florida except for maybe once, besides being Christmas. Really? Yeah, just that Michaela's birthday in July, but huh. never Suzanne hasn't been to Flower and Garden in what's it been? Nine years? That's not, um, true. that's not true, Neil. Unless somebody might be sitting next on Jeff. That's why I can't say it. Um, I got <laughs> I got afraid my name was mentioned after that granny pants comment. <laughs> 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 uh, I wasn't sure where you were going with that either. But <laughs> neither me or her. No. You guys you guys seem to forget I need to sleep next to her. I like to close my eyes at night. Uh Yachty, welcome in, Yachty. It's good to see you again. Yachty says Disney is making money off my annual pass. I need to go. So you do, Yachty. Suzanne says she's glad she's not alone. <laughs> Jeff is the first person to discuss panties and depends. He must have experience with both. Neil, come on. I saw the video of your last concert. <laughs> <laughs> Was it at the, the, Elks, the Elks Club with a VFW? No. Every one of those people was wearing the pens or... Poison. That's what I'm saying, man. Was it all the old old senior citizens that joined the Elks back in the 1930s and they're still going? Next concert. Next concert. And I think it's this month, right? I, I'm going to see how many numbers I can get. <laughs> oh. I don't know how to transition back to the food talk or back to the Marvel talk or back to the Disney World talk now. <laughs> food. We could always talk food, man. You know that. Just the yep. we can... Edible underwear. Yep. Well, um, that's not good for Neil. He's he already got something in his mouth. He doesn't need edible underwear. I, I was. Oh, no, never mind. Yep. I can't see. Magic mushrooms. Before and after I watched <laughs> Neil. Stevie K finally tried Dukes. What'd you think, Stevie? I'm glad he can find it because I can't find it up here. Um. VP's wanting to book a date with Tommy. Uh, what am I doing tomorrow? Um, nothing that I can think of. Um, I have to be at work at four, I think. VP, shoot me a message. Jeff's next Disney trip is tomorrow morning. Uh, Tommy's will be tomorrow at four <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Carlos is going Friday about 9 a.m. Friday. He's already got the stream up. A bunch of yeah. streams up. Actually. actually, I don't have Fridays up yet. But Are you driving down or are you flying? Yeah, uh, don't forget Suzanne's going with me. Of course I'm driving. Oh, yes. That's right. We're picking up a rental. Ooh. Really? Yeah. A minivan? It's funny. Well, it's funny you say that. We went. I've never rented from where we're renting. And I'm like, we're up that area in Dartmouth, and we're like, oh, let's let's go see 
what's on the lot because I rented a three row SUV. Mm-hmm. I get there. Oh. It's at a small airport, in New Bedford. I don't know if anybody knows the area. And uh, mm-hmm. there's like nothing on the lot. I'm like, Suzanne, I don't know what they're going to give us. So I went and spoke to another girl, very nice girl. She's like, well, you're picking it up Tuesday. We usually get stuff from Providence. And if if it's not here, if not, you get a free upgrade. And I'm looking outside. I'm like, you don't even have anything larger. What is this free upgrade? She's like, would you like a minivan? Would that be all right? And I'm like, I don't care. Whatever. Anything that's got three rows, mm-hmm. send it over. So we'll see what we get Tuesday. It's going to be like flip of a coin. Get there. But like, all right. Yeah. Either Welcome they in. delivered something or it's a minivan. Welcome in, Nadine. Yeah. I didn't it feel, went well. I didn't feel like putting 4,000 miles on my SUV that I'm turning in next month. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. How long is your drive? 17? 20. 20? Yeah. Tina, do you know when your next Disney trip is? Not till December. That's when mine is. There may be another one, but that that's that's when the current plan yeah. is. We got other vacations in between. We got yeah. gonna go. We got the August meetup, and then July we spent back home in Massachusetts. July fourth week and Memorial Day weekend. What so. do you mean? The soft pretzel, the cheese. Don't oh, forget the party is July twentieth. Okay. If you're here. <laughs> yeah, we should be. Yeah. I'll try to get try to get Tracy to come camp this way for the weekend. Thanks. Minivans are so uncomfortable to drive. They really are. Uh, we, you know I what? It's, it's funny. We've only rented one other time, and it was a minivan. Uh, I didn't mind it. It was a Nissan Nissan Quest. Mm-hmm. I don't care what they give. Well, I do care. I I prefer an SUV when I'm paying for. And even yeah. Suzanne said it, where is a minivan an upgrade from a three-row SUV? Right. She was hoping, like, oh, an upgrade to, like, a Yukon or a Tahoe. And I reminded her, I said, as nice as that would be to drive down, it's also going from a V6 to a V8. So <laughs> that magical... Oh, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> that, ma- that magical upgrade has just added more money mm-hmm. and fuel. So... Uh, I crushed you know, Michaela in the automatic doors in the minivan. I love our minivan. Our, we we had a Dodge or a, we had a Honda Odyssey. I like, that, I like, I like I, that better than our Honda Pilot. There's I, so I much more like room it. in the minivan. Yeah. Than Pilot. Well, that's what the girl said. She's like, "Would you like the more room? Because we'll There's give you so much more room. Minivan. Put so much more in there." So I I test drove an Odyssey a couple of years ago. Um, and I really like the Odyssey. I was looking to maybe trade for one of those. Um, we have a Dodge minivan right now, and I I hate that thing. Chris, we owned an Odyssey, and it was great. What do you hate about it? Is, it, is it a caravan? Yeah, it's a caravan. You hate your Odyssey, Tommy? Yeah. No, 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 no. We had an Odyssey. I loved oh. it. Yeah, We have a pilot now. I loved our Dodge Aud- or our Honda Odyssey. I don't like it. Yeah. The, the only minivans I saw on the light, they were both on a the lot. They were both Chryslers. I would never. I take Chrysler. I'm not buying it. I'm renting it. So <laughs> I don't care. Mm-hmm. But I have five I vehicles on my property and one yeah. half works. I, I, it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable to ride in for a long time. It's not, it, it, I just do not like that. That van. If I didn't get the, the deal that I got on this rental, I probably would have just said screw it, take hours, put the four thousand miles on it, and that's it. Are rental cars still expensive anything? up your way, Carlos? They're they're very expensive, but Tommy, I have no idea how I got such a deal. Good. And a lot of people might think I'm it's not a good deal, but we have this thing for t- fifteen days. And That's all ta- all taxes, fees, and everything, I'm paying seven fifty. That's a steal and a it, half. Tell me about it. Yeah. When I when Ooh, I, I thought, listen, Carlos, I thought you were gonna literally say like eleven hundred, which would still be good. Yeah, oh, the, wow. we and we've looked in the past, and they've been so expensive. But I don't know what the, I mean. There was an, an email with a discount because I've used budget before, so they were always sending me stuff. Uh, actually, I just used budget 
during my solo trip three weeks ago. So they're like, oh, here's another 30. I think there was like 30% off, but that's really I was good. sitting here. I was sitting right here. So I was on the other couch. She's like, well, another side of me, right? We, you know, I was, yeah, still, was, yeah we were right. sitting here talking. Yeah. I was tickling, yeah, I was tickling your belly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> instead of the cats. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, just see what it would be like. And I looked at it, I said, no, this can't be right. And I did it again. And it came up at the same price. I'm like, I'm like, Crazy. Suzanne, pay, well, pay now. If you pay now. Yeah. I'm like, with fees, it's 750. That is really good. And she looked at me, she's like, and you're waiting for what? <laughs> I'm like, no. you're not, you, yeah, you're not. <laughs> you I'm know, gonna see, I'm gonna do that math real quick. Alexa, the what's 750 divided by 15? Fifty yeah. bucks a day. Yeah. Dang, um, that's good. For for a three row SUV. For a minivan. Oh yep. yeah. Or a minivan. No, yeah. minivans are more. Yeah. Well, yeah. even for an SUV. Yeah, three yeah. a three row, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. last time I drove down, I had they gave me a Chrysler Pacifica. And it drove okay, but nowhere near as nice as several other vehicles that I've driven. Mm -hmm. Um, it was it was better than the caravan we have, but um, I wish I could just get this damn woman, and I know she's listening on a freaking plane. Because, man, <laughs> you know, two hours, ten minutes, you're on the ground. Yeah, but then she's sick for half the trip and miserable. Any half the trip, it's well, half a day. Enough. Half a day. Half a day. You know, I I looked at uh, flights for the December trip. It's going to be a heck of a lot cheaper for me to rent a car. Why not? Yeah, flying is still insanely expensive. Prices for me are not out yet for that December trip. Because yep. I felt, you know, Jen and I were talking. She'd really like for me to go as if she has a boyfriend hanging around. Uh, we don't, I, he don't love me. No. Put Not something in her milk. Put though. something in her milk. <laughs> <laughs> Couple Benadryl. No, but, you know but, but, but like, no, but, but then, you know, on the other hand, just like Chris just said, the difference of flying and driving is, is, is half the price, if not more. That's true. You know, yeah. it all depends when you go, of course. And it, But there is four of us. So even right now at the way Southwest is, let's say it's two... Two grand. 50, round let's trip. say it's two... Well, no. No, no. It'd be a grand round trip. If we... Get, oh, if, 250 each? Wow, round trip? Yeah, round if trip. you can get lucky. At, well, let's say at 129. So 260, 275. But let's say 1,200. Let's round it up. 1,200 yeah. bucks. We're driving... If we took our SUV, it cost me 130 bucks last uh, last year, each way. So with tolls, another 80 bucks, you only got 400 dollars round trip. Yeah, you know, and, and and people are always like, oh, well, you lose days of your vacation. No, I don't. If I'm going to Disney for eight days, I'm going to Disney for eight days. If I want to go for ten, I'm going for ten. You know, I tell my boss I'm taking 12 days off. Mm -hmm. So we don't lose. And Suzanne's got six weeks of vacation time, so we don't lose vacation time driving. Yeah, it's all accounted for. So, um, Michaela asked to fly this trip so she wouldn't miss two days of work. It yeah, hundred dollars just to fly down. Yeah, it depends when you go. We're going during our spring break, and Southwest is not stupid. So flights out of Boston or Providence right now are like triple the price for mm -hmm. for that week, that third week of April. Uh, Pino Pete says, Carlos, we got JetBlue out of Providence for $340 round trip for our December trip. $340 out of JetBlue. I'm afraid to fly JetBlue. I don't know why. I'm just... And it also depends and... and because Pete flies out at the same airport. I don't know. JetBlue's not flying out as frequent. Like, I would still have to work in the morning and then fly out, so I would need certain times. Where Southwest has, like, you know, 13 flights a day coming out of here, if not more. Yeah. But 340 JetBlue round trip for him and her. So that's, what, 170 
Huh. Maybe I should look at that. I'm going to have to bounce, Chris. I'm sorry. All right, buddy. You got an early morning, so. I got to be there. Yeah, we got. I got to be there early to meet. Uh, Are you stream? You're streaming breakfast, right? I will probably stream Tusker House to show what's on the menu and what's on the buffet and stuff. Yeah. No, I thought breakfast. I thought breakfast was really early. That's why I was asking if you were streaming. It's really early. Yeah. Are you doing safari after? We probably will do the safari after. Yes. Oh, so you're gonna stop? Okay, I understand now what you're saying. I'm sorry. Yep. That sounds like a boring stream, guys. Don't watch. I wouldn't watch. <laughs> uh, what, Tommy? What another safari stream? Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, yay. I'll be there. Hey, I don't know. I mean, Chris, I don't know if you're watching Friday, but Josh had a hell of a driver Friday. He was at Animal Kingdom. Really? He was on TV One. And I'll tell you, she was freaking amazing with the way she was, you know, talking about the animals and everything. And your uh, your Pittsburgh dogs over there, what do you call them? The uh, the, the what are those dogs there? Wild dogs. Yeah, they were so active. I've never seen it in my life. They were running around, chasing each other, jumping on top of each other. One was biting the other one. I'm like, when we see them in the morning, they're just like dead sitting there. And yeah, she was from Boston. Maybe that helped too. Tanya yeah, had one the other day. I think she went Thursday, and it was like. The Jungle Cruise on land. Wow, that's cool. He was cracking jokes and everything. It was yeah, she was too. Maybe it was the same one. This same one was woman, the guy. Maybe. Oh, all right. No, this she had some jokes too. Oh, what did she call the 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 paint uh, the painted dogs? Yeah, she called something the baby uh, flamingos. Oh my god, she gave a name for it. I'm sorry, the rest of us found this funny. I can't think of what she said. Yeah. No. Suzanne probably might. Well, have a good night, sir. Thank you for coming in and hanging Thank out. Thank you for the invitation. Bye, Jerf. Keep good your night, glasses safe. If, if you have trouble going to sleep, just say sleepy o now o and it'll help you. <laughs> Touche, Chris. Touche. You're welcome. Oh, just... He gone. Yeah, he gone. <laughs> So, um, Snickerdoodle was saying she, uh, she hates moving to a smaller area because of the flights, finding flights versus where she's at now at DC. It's pretty easy oh, yeah. to find a cheap flight out sometimes to places, but yeah, that's my trouble here. If I fly from here, I either fly to Charlotte or Atlanta, which I could drive to, but is it more cost efficient to drive? Well, I could never drive with a small trip. Like if I went down to see you in December, you know, it'd be, you know, Friday to Sunday and yeah, I'm not going to, you know, drive out for that. Yeah. But uh, here is, like I said, I like flying Southwest and they got like two direct flights per day, one five in the morning and the other one like at eight mm -hmm. or 7 PM. Uh, and then the rest is all one stops in like Baltimore. Yeah. Um, Hunter Eckerwood says, I love small airports. They're so much, uh, calmer than the big ones and usually easier to get it to. They're easier to get around. I will say that than, than the big ones. Yeah. Providence is really, really small. Yeah. Not really small, but it's easy. Um, but yeah, last, last few times I went, it was cheaper for me to rent a car than it was to fly. Even considering buying gas. Well, yeah. Well, even now with the rental, seven fifty, let's say four hundred bucks, you know. Well, five. Especially if the kids are going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't mind the drive from here. It's about eight and a half hours. So. Oh, I wish. God, I wish that's all I had. Now, Carlos, do you do the whole drive, or do you split it up, or? She drives whenever I ask, but for how long, that all depends. <laughs> all depends on her. Um, but, I mean, last trip, I think she drove three hours of it, and I did the rest. But I'll give her, I'll give her this. She, she did, uh, 
uh, how far back about five six years maybe seven uh she drove home probably 18 of the 20 hours wow yeah i got sick the night before and, and then you know me trying to uh, medicate myself quicker because i do it a drive i'm popping cold medicine after cold forget this every six hours it was like every hour i'm like i'm taking more and i i pretty much you know i, I didn't od but i mean i i got myself high on on cold medication and it just it ruined me i knocked me right out i was done i couldn't drive 2010 she's wow wasn't really that long ago no ethan was born no ethan was here how was that 2010 but what um yeah she uh she got us home <laughs> she she boy did she get us home but no, we drive straight through, and like I said, she'll drive a couple of hours. We let Michaela drive once, but I started feeling the car shake, the SUV shake. I'm like, wow, what are we driving over? No, she was doing like 98. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, what are we doing? Um, She's so... there faster. Yeah. I, I, I looked at flying last time I took the kids. But yeah, it was it was so much cheaper for us to drive, and I don't mind the drive. Um, so I, I kind of have fun with it, except for the drive back. I don't have fun with that. I don't know why, but it always seems like the drive down takes like three hours, and the drive back takes like eighty six. See, and I'm and I'm backwards, Chris. For some reason, I feel like we get home. I don't know if it's because of the time, maybe. This is why I'm feeling maybe it. Because we always get home at like 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. Yeah. Like where it's even too early to, you know, to, to even get luggage out of the truck because you all wake up the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, but on the way down, because because we leave, not this trip. This trip's going to screw me all up. It really is. But we normally leave, like, I'll work in the morning. That's another thing, Tommy, that screws me is I get up, you know, the time I get up for work, like 3 a.m. So I'll work, come home, and I drive for a living. So I'll work, come home, shower, get back in the car, and start driving again. Yeah. So, so that whole day you spent basically you spent oh yeah behind hours the wheel driving yeah behind the wheel pretty much. Jeez, oh, man. Yeah. So but we should leave like in the, you know early afternoon, maybe the evening. This trip because of my work schedule changed. I'll be home by eight o'clock on Thursday. Like I'll get up at three, still go to work, but I'll be home by eight. So the, the plan is to leave here about nine, nine thirty. The crap part about all of this is, you know, rooms technically are not ready until let's say afternoon. Three, four o'clock. Yeah. Right. I mean, I've gotten lucky, knock on wood, that we've never had to wait that long for a room. But my point is I GPS wise. And because of how many times we've done this drive, we might get in about 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> there you go, Tina. Sorry. <laughs> so I might be napping in the beach club parking lot <laughs> when we get there. Just sleep in the lobby. Well, I'm a good BSer. Like I said, I've never waited long. I'm going to go in and give them the same story I give them all the time. I just drove 20 hours with my family. I I'm have tired. to breathe. I have oh, to. Use it. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I smell. We all stink. My kids yep. thrown up six times. That's not a lie because Ethan does get car sick. Yep. So I need a room, please. Doesn't have to be the room that you know. I pretty much requested. Put me anywhere you want. It's the beach club. I don't give a crap where you put me, man. It's the living yeah, room. <laughs> we usually leave out. I like to leave out about six. Not earlier. So. Yeah, you're yeah, getting there the same day. So leaving at yeah. six is amazing for an eight hour drive. Yeah. You know, you're there what two in the afternoon, your room's yeah. ready. You know, so I got time to go to the park if you want to. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You know, like for, like you know, we get there Friday morning and, and we have dawn is Friday night. So mm -hmm. I'd like to go to the park first. If not, we'll just you know hang around the beach club and go in the pool or something. But yeah. 
That's why I said, Tommy, I might be napping on Donna's couch because I'm going to be yeah. tired. That's going to be a long day. Somebody uh, already, you... somebody already offered their home. They're like, just come straight here, shower here, and but Suzanne won't. Suzanne won't do. She already said no, thank you. <laughs> you could, um, you you could go when you get there. Just go do a stream from the hot tub. Well, well, I do have the morning brew set up already for the for the drive, but we might be there already, so. Looking forward to it. Like a few meals right. planned, and I'm still on the hunt for space tw uh, 220 for Suzanne and I. So that that's what I usually do. VP is take my luggage to Bell Services and then go to the park or. I, Sean, or I would do that if it was just me. Mm -hmm. I would have no problem doing that because I drive down in shorts and t-shirt, like I'm ready to be down here. Yep. You know, I just I'm just comfortable that way too. You know, in December it's tough because when you stop and Chris, you saw the stream last year. Well, two years ago, it was cold as hell down there, mm -hmm. down there in the Carolinas when we stopped for fuel. But it's April, so you know we'll we'll come down and I will come down in shorts and t-shirt. But yeah, Suzanne won't go anywhere until she showers. That so, I, I like to I, I'll dress like you said, comfortable driving, whatever. But when I fly, I'm very much the same way. I'll even go almost a little more basic when I fly because I hate. Taking off a belt, taking off shoes, all that sort of stuff. You can't yeah. stand all that that mess. This trip was great because now I wear Crocs. So it was mm -hmm. like, yeah, Crocs are on, slide them right off, slide them back on, yeah. we're done. So. Planes, I usually drive a little more warmer because it's, pretty, it's cold on those planes sometimes. It's like, man, I wish I had pants on. Yeah. Su Suzanne is so high maintenance. I didn't say you were high maintenance. I'm just saying you won't go anywhere. And I don't blame her. I mean, she showered in the morning before we left. And uh, yeah, you know, I know we're just sitting in the car. We're not really sweating, but, mm -hmm. you know, things do start to stink after a while. And, and that's on all of us. Um, Have a good one, VP. Night, VP. Night, night Sean. Night, back. Night, VP. Um, you know, and Ethan's at that age too. You know, the the, the Peter Brady age. Uh, yeah. So, you know, washing up once a day is pretty good too for him. Mm. So. <laughs> I remember that stage. Yeah. So, you know, going straight to the park would be ideal, but uh, will not probably happen now. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> well. I think we may call it tonight. Yeah, I'm about to. Um, go finish WrestleMania and get some neat. Be sure to check out Jeff tomorrow morning at Animal Kingdom. And um, Snickerdoodle and the ladies will be on Pete with Pete. I th Tina, are you on with him tomorrow night too? Yes, yeah, 6 p.m. Triple C show with Jennifer Caruso. Don't there miss it. Be fun, and then uh, I think Dave may go live about seven o'clock too. He said he might. I don't see. I hadn't seen a thumbnail, but we'll see. Um, tomorrow night I'll be back here uh, about eight eight thirty. Uh, we're supposed to do movie night tomorrow night. Um, if if my my partner in crime makes it. Uh, we'll do movie night. If not, it it may be a chill stream tomorrow night, and I might finish up my Lego. So, um, but we'll be here doing something. So, uh, I hope everybody has a good night and a wonderful Sunday. Carlos will be live the end of this week, coming week, streaming and check out all the thumbnails. Tommy, when are y'all doing something next? <laughs> I'm gonna film this week lightsaber vlog. Um, I heard on a site that you can say a code and get a discount on lightsabers. Absolutely, you can. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just tell them you know me. Tell them you know me when you're at Sabi's. 
and you'll get you'll get a negative ten discount. So you can more. Um, is that like oh. knowing Steve at Fifty Prime? That's exactly because exactly. I got crap for that the last time. <laughs> Yeah, don't tell anyone you know me at Galaxy's Edge because they'll give you crap, I'm sure. Um, what else? I'll probably be live again soon. Obviously, May the 4th is going to be the big one. Yeah. Plan is to go live for a while. I have no idea what to expect. It's going to be nutso butso over there. I'm looking forward to seeing the lightsaber. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, there's I'm... a lightsaber meetup, too, coming up this month. I, I got Sam sent it to me. Yeah, they moved it because they're not doing it. They're not officially Yeah, exactly. Doing yep. There is one of those. I got to look at that because I'll probably stream that one. Maybe I'll stream that one too. Speaking of Sam. Um, speaking of and Sam, then Friday. That, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> um, Tommy. What? Don't hate me. Can you remind me the name of your channel, please? Live in the magic. Thank you. It's oh, Dad Bill. To... <laughs> Live in the magic. Um, no, that's fine. My brain just um, yeah. Oh, we just so this is pretty cool. Uh, Kellen, uh, we just submitted uh, today. We're waiting uh, for his monetization on his own channel already. Oh, crazy! Wow. Nice. In two months, literally. I mean, he's had the channel for a little bit, and he's doing like VR gaming and stuff. But literally, he's had the channel for a little over two months, and he's at eleven hundred and forty-one subscribers already. <laughs> Wow. Is one video. So we posted a video like two days ago. It's already at 5,000 views, which is awesome. And his one video from two months ago is at 57,000 views. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's crazy. So he's uh, he's loving that. So pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, we will. Uh... Oh, I see, Tina. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, guys. Thank you for dropping You're welcome. We should get Sam's karaoke night because well, she's not professional singers this friday yeah she's really not but... you singing carlos we shall see oh that's we... confidence i love it he's singing <laughs> i know ethan is this is this is ethan's rain check yeah. if you didn't know we were supposed to be down there for the last one but i got sick i was in the hospital so Oh. Ethan was not upset that we missed Disney. Ethan was upset that we missed karaoke that night. So. Suzanne, no, you're not. You're going to be singing too. You're not hiding in the kitchen. She is. She's going to be singing <laughs> from the kitchen. But no, we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, the Beatles. The Beatles are coming in to sing. Uh, we have the British. The British Invasion is coming to sing. There we go. I need a duet partner. You can have Ethan. You can have Michaela. I know Michaela and Ethan want to do a duet too. <laughs> Uh, be fun. Yeah, make sure but, you guys watch that stream. They're always oh, good ones. Nobody knows the trouble I see, right? What's Kellen's <laughs> new channel? That's a great question. It's oh, uh, we have yeah, Theme Park Baz is coming over. So oh, cool. That, oh yeah, Barry. Yoshi VR one two three is the way to find it. There you go. One two three. Yoshi VR one two three. Yep, he's at uh yeah. Wow. Amazing. That's awesome. That's his channel. Yep. Yoshi VR123. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Dave. Definitely. Um, it's it's funny. He, he They play these VR games, um, and I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, it's him and a couple of his friends that he actually met online. But Kel, Kel, so what happens, it's actually really cool. So they all film while they're playing together. And then yeah. the two kids send Kellen their POV clips. And Kellen edits all of them together. And he puts, like, who you're watching at the time. And he puts in, like, you know, the you know the funny sound effects and music and stuff. And, like, That's I cool. literally can't watch the videos without cracking up laughing. Even though you have no idea what's going on in the game, it's just it's just hysterical. The kid's just funny. Gitchy funny. loves him. Gitchy get, get, get has no idea what's happening. Do we lose yeah. him? Do you just go quiet? Yeah, it's um, okay. he's having fun with it. Good, there we go. Uh, Tina will be live Wednesday, off, and yeah, and on various other channels here and there. She'll be on tomorrow night, and then where else, Tina? 
Yeah, beyond Toro Knight, Triple C's. Um, Wednesday, I'll be back. Thanks, Wednesday, Steve. at five. And no joy, no no short and sassy showdown next week at eight o'clock. But make sure you check out Joy because usually Wednesday is at eight. Yep. And um, yeah, wherever else. So I dropped a couple of um, vlogs, some of my poetry vlogs. If anyone wants to go and check those out, I would really love that. Uh, hit the like button for me. Yeah, hit hit that, and then. Um, since she's not going to do it, let me let me go here and do this. You know Post those do links. that and do this. If I can top right. Thanks. Look at me modding on my own channel. How about that? Thank you. <laughs> Um, so there you go. Um, cool. Well, we will see you in the streams tomorrow. Uh, back here tomorrow night doing something either interstellar or chilling. Um, hope y'all have a good night and a wonderful Sunday. And, um, yeah, that's it. I guess. Love you all. Thanks for hanging out. Love you all. Fun. We've covered it all, I think, tonight from cars to planes to, to underwear. To the underwear and pizza. So there you go. Pizza, underwear, plane flights, and little hands. There's just some. <laughs> um, yeah. Love you. We'll see you soon. Have a good night and one. Bye, guys. Bye.